Well, here we go. The uncensored Rumble Six, all for a chance to become, or excuse me, the challenge, the next Spirit Champion. Yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of people that are going to be gunning after Jessica Havoc's world title. Let's see who's going to be next in line to go after Marty Bell. We have Taylor Hendricks and Shanna starting off the action here in the sixth uncensored rumble. Taylor Hendricks bragging about a short-lived gut check career as Shanna attacks the knee of TV's Taylor Hendricks. Right now, Shanna is looking impressive against Taylor Hendricks. We saw her earlier tonight. You have to imagine that Taylor Hendricks has a little bit of a one up on some of the most of the competitors as most of the competitors have already competed once tonight. Yeah, but she's certainly at a disadvantage drawing number one. You're exactly right. Yeah, you know what? Very rarely in these type of matches that number one or two they get that deep into the competition later on in the match. But these two have a lot to prove tonight. Shanna's debut in the United States, Taylor Hendricks coming back to the independent women's wrestling scene. And we have a new participant every 90 seconds, if I'm correct. You're correct. And the way to be eliminated, you just have to be thrown out of the ring, anywhere on the ring, and both feet have to touch the floor. Both feet touch the floor. You don't necessarily have to go over the top rope, although that's what Taylor Hendricks is looking to do right here. It counts for style points. And here we go. Who's going to be next coming out? Sammy Two Tunnel. I didn't know that she was a wrestler. Well, apparently she's gonna try it. She tried to teach me flute once. I didn't completely understand. She's gonna watch going out. On. She's gonna get caught in the line of fire. <laughs> Is she trying to like officiate the match now? I think she's actually trying to tell the other two that they should team up and wait for the competitor number four. She <laughs> Um. I don't think Flyer Skates are going to approve of this. Why? Are they trying to be the female nation? I think it just broke. Whatever smoking device she had. What was that, a peace pipe? They don't even have marijuana in Portugal. Oh, it's on light. She doesn't have any more fluid in the lighter fluid. Oh, oh, she seems more content to go smoke. She and seems more content to go smoke than, than challenge for the spirit title. And the THC fueled competitor just finds herself passed out on the floor. Well, that's going to leave us with Taylor Hendricks and Shanna competing for a chance to face off against Marty Bell at a future WSU event. Here we go. We've got another countdown. Oh, kick to the midsection. Well, here comes Cherry Lane. She made her WCA debut at the Secret Show last night, falling short to Sassy Stephanie. Cherry Lane, well, if she'd only debuted at the Secret Show, this could be quite a coup for her to come in and oh, no. winning the Uncensored Rumble. Uh, a little too oh. gingerly approaching this match. Oh. And just as quick as she's in, she's out. Taylor Hendricks shattering dreams. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Taylor Hendricks basking the glory for too long as Shannon trying to toss Hendricks out now. Got her halfway over that top rope. But look at Taylor Hendricks now grabbing a hold of the neck. I mean, this, and is the head. A, this is obviously a contest that's very different than your typical wrestling match. Not only do you have to worry about all these uh, opponents coming out in different intervals, but you're not trying to pin your opponent. You're not trying to get them to submit. You're trying to get them out of the ring. Yeah, that's so a totally different strategy you're going to come into a bout like this. Yeah, that's why sometimes you don't want to do high impact moves in a match like this. You want to make wait sure that you can curl their carcass outside of the ring like Shayna is attempting to do now. Yeah. Taylor Hitter trying to use those legs to grapevine around the ropes so she can balance herself. She better let go of those ropes now. That could be her undoing as Shayna is now kicking her in the midsection with Taylor Hendricks falls safely back on the inside of the ring. Of course, I believe there's 28 competitors scheduled for this year's Uncensored Rumble. Athena out with a shoulder injury. Jessica Havoc not in the house today. Well, we're having our fourth entrant right now. Excuse me, fifth entrant. Oh, here comes Nikki Adams. Haven't seen her in a while here at WSU. Nikki Adams, a blast from the past here. Oh, interesting. Oh, wait a second. Not looking to make friends, looking to get herself a shot at a championship. 
this. This isn't a business where you try to make friends. This is a business where you try to get to your top. Well, I mean, top. if you haven't been competing for WSU regularly, uh, one way probably to secure bookings would become a number one contender for one of the titles. Yeah, you're exactly right. And I'm sure she would love to get a piece of Marty Bell. It was Marty Bell that defeated her in her last match in WSU at full steam ahead. And there goes Adams off the ropes. And Shannon Hendricks actually teaming up right now. You're going to see some brief alliances in a match like this. They might not last long, but they will be effective while they're working together. Oh. Right now, that's not looking too effective as Adams taking it to both Shanna and Taylor Hendricks. Talking some trash, she pulls Hendricks back up. He's going to be looking to send her over the top rope. Oh, through. Uh oh. Hendricks holding on for dear life. Shanna, she's she going to eliminate both women right now as she's trying to toss Adams over the top rope. Well, Hendricks saves herself back in the ring. Adams dangerously on the ring apron, but rolls right back in. Oh my God, what a bum rush from Taylor Hendricks. You said these alliances do not last long. And things are gonna start getting a little hairy here at the uncensored rubble. As Santana, as Santana makes her way back down to the ring. You said Harry, the source of her power, or so I've been told, is that, ha that hair band, that headband. What's it called? That's the only part of her that's hairy. Let's be honest about here. Let's be nice. Oh my God. You only... think I were on CZWIPBB.com and not on In Demand or whatever. Santana though, you know, she seemed very friendly, but she had no problem going on the attack as she entered the ring. And Santana looking to toss out Taylor Hendricks. That would that'd be oh. quite. But Quite a victory. Very effective by Taylor Hendricks. Of course, it was Santana and Taylor Hendricks one-on-one -on -one last night at the WSU Secret Show. Again, it's going to be available soon at streamwsu.com. So some unresolved issues between these two competitors. It was Santana Ooh. Garrett that picked up the victory last night, and she's looking to repeat here at the expense of Taylor Hendricks. Santana looking vicious on the attack of Hendricks. Meanwhile, on the other side of the ring, Shayna trying to kick Adams out of the ring. Oh, that stiff drop kick right to the chin. Again, she doesn't have to throw over the top rope. If she can just even slide her into the bottom rope and both of those feet touch the floor. That's another elimination. And we have to be getting close to a, another entry. Here it is. Number six. Who's next? It's not Goldberg. Oh, here comes Caitlin Diamond. Participant number seven, Caitlin Diamond. She fell short last night, teaming with Jody DeMilo against Addie Starr and Zandra Bell, who were both victorious today and still yet to enter the uncensored rumble. Diamond sizing up all of her competition, picking her spot. Hey, you want to take your time getting in the ring when you see all these women battling. Shanna not in a very comfortable position right now. As oh, Adams no. and Diamond teaming up on her. Take a look at the exchange going on between Santana Garrett and Taylor Hendricks, though. She's trying to use a head scissors to take her over the top rope. Well, Taylor Hendricks now in a dangerous position. Yeah, and when you know the when these matches, the room. you know when these matches get their most dangerous when there's an odd number of competitors exactly in there. Exactly right. Because that's when you see that gang mentality. But then again, how about this? Shayna, she's just taking the opportunity to catch a breather. Yeah, she's Shana, been in here right from the start. Shayna, very smart, as she does it. Taylor Hendricks, though, keeps herself in the middle of the action. And Taylor Hendricks definitely has something to prove coming back here to WSU. And Shayna still, still staying rested on the, in the far corner from us. Who's number lucky seven? Five, four, three, two, one. Get her, get her, get her. Oh. Here comes Jules Malone. Jules Malone. You know, something I want to bring to your attention. Just a few minutes ago, we saw Nikki Adams was choking her opponent in the corner. The referees are not in this match to call for disqualification. They're just there on the outside. We've got three of the four sides that are in cover to see if, they're, if the competitor's feet touch the floor. Well, right now, Jules Malone looking to impress again here. Both corners of the ring, you see it, like you said, that gang mentality, double teaming going on. 
We've given a lot of new wrestlers a lot of opportunities over the last few days, but this could be the biggest one of them all. A virtual unknown could have been entered into this match and could be challenging for Marty Bell's spirit title on an upcoming WSU event. Well, this is the ultimate opportunity here tonight. You know, I wasn't familiar with Jules Malone before this weekend. She went one and one a victory last night, defeated by Barbie Hayden tonight, but I would love to see what she could do in the ring with Marty Bell. She definitely impressed me tonight with her in her earlier match. And she could impress you tonight by just tossing out a few women and getting herself a shot at the spirit title. But right now it's not looking good for Santana as Shayna. Oh, oh, wait a second, Santana holding on for dear life, but she's still on the outside of the ropes, you know, and that's a very dangerous place. It takes a lot of upper body strength and a lot of energy to hold on to a maneuver like that. She's back in the ring, but she's not safe. Oh, athletic ability there shown by Santana, and here comes Sassy Stephanie. Uh, she is miserable. She's got a wild hair across her ass over what went down with her and her partner in the Midwest Militia earlier today. And word has already gotten back to me that Jessica Havoc heard what Sassy Stephanie said about her. I'm not going to comment any further. Yeah, you don't want to get in the middle of... No, 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 no. Definitely not. Got to keep your champions happy. And Sassy Stephanie is looking to pick her spot, and she's picked Santana right now. And Sassy Steph will love another opportunity to challenge for another championship to add her resume. Absolutely, she wants to prove herself not only as a tag team competitor, but a singles oh competitor. Imagine if Sassy Stephanie was afforded the opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one with Jessica Havoc for the WRC World title. Oh, I, wonder, I wonder whether or not she would take that opportunity. It wasn't that long ago where Jessica Havoc held both the Spirit and World Championships at the same time. And maybe Sassy Stephanie's looking to one-up Jessica Havoc now. The action is all over the ring right now. And once again, Portugal's perfect athlete taking a breather in the corner. She's employing Portugal's perfect strategy. Caitlin Diamond the, facing the two-on-one attack from Nikki Adams and Jules Malone. Wait a second, Sant Shana picking her spot right now, trying to kick Sant Santana out. And we have a new competitor. Here comes Sandra Bell. She impressed in our pre-show here earlier this evening. Sandra Bell, after her victory, being afforded the opportunity to participate in the Uncensored Rumble. And out of all the women that have competed tonight, she is the most well-rested. Sandra Bell going right after Caitlin Diamond after the exchange that they had last night. And Caitlin Diamond using her size advantage to throw the more diminutive Bale back into the corner. It seems like every woman has found themselves an opponent here, and they're all, all fighting, clawing at each other. And right now we have Adams trying to toss out Jules Malone, but Jules Malone hanging on to Weren't the they working together a second ago? Like I said, there's going to be brief alliances exactly. in this one. Oh, looks at Taylor Hendricks. Taylor Hendricks almost, almost being eliminated there by Sassy Stephanie. Taylor Hendricks holding onto the ring apron. Santana Garrett using that side of the ring to build up some momentum, taking Shayna down with that clothesline. And that's something you're not going to get a lot of in a match like this with so many competitors. Almost having the ring entirely to yourself, the whole side. It's going to be very, very difficult, especially the more. Oh, wait a second! Wait a second! Look at Shayna. She's trying. To, oh, she held on from the bottom rope. That's even more impressive. She just shaved the cat. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Who do we got next? Oh! The next participant, One of the trainees here at the CZW Academy, oh. making her professional debut. That's where I've seen her. You know, her professional debut, how many rookies can you honestly say have gotten a chance to enter in a match like this, come out on top and get a shot at a championship? Should that go in her favor? Well, I believe we do have a second Academy graduate coming into this match later on. She's wrestled before and she's jacked. Right now Santana might have Portugal's perfect athlete eliminated. Adams and Diamond teaming up to toss out Jules Malone. Bale being dropped down 
by Hendricks. Now Hendricks. Is gonna bite her foot? He's trying to eat the feet. What is going oh. on? She, she, she got... Don't even say it. Don't even say it. Hey, take a look at the other corner. Nope. <laughs> trying to get Sassy Stephanie out of the ring is Barracuda Brittany and Taylor Hendricks. But in the corner that has our focus, Santana Garrett just trying to push Shanna out of the ring. Shanna trying to get parallel with that ring post. Oh, wait a second. The outside. Wait a second. Look at Malone powering. Powering. Diamond on her shoulders trying to toss her up, but the Diamond's got a hold of the ropes and Malone at the same time. Yeah, but Barracuda Brittany, she got tossed out by Zandra Bale. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And who is our next competitor? Oh, here we go. Listen to this. Look at it. Even the uncensored rumble is beneath this woman. Listen to the ovation she got, though, coming out the ringside. I mean, she was impressive earlier. Did you see the line she had around the table? I didn't think we were going to be able to come back from intermission. Hey, like I said, a star was born earlier this evening, earlier this afternoon. Well, look, she's taking her good old time entering this match, taking a drink of her water. Posing for the camera. Hey, she doesn't pose for free for pictures. Well, meanwhile, Nikki Adams has been eliminated. Uh-oh. Taylor Hendricks showing some jealousy. I don't think it's jealousy. I think she wants Barbie Haney to get in the ring so she can put the hurting on her. I don't think she should hold the rope for Barbie. Well, this is a good strategy. As long as she takes to get into the ring, she can't be eliminated. Meanwhile... Santana driving Malone back into that corner. Well, Shayna, oh. though. Shayna causing a distraction, probably not accidentally, onto Barbie. So Taylor Hendricks can just go to work it, it, like, on this former Miss Texas. Hennigan almost, almost did a stupid thing, looking to get some rest and almost eliminated herself. And here's Hendricks and Shayna now teaming up to try to eliminate Barbie. Hey, Barbie's still in dangerous territory as we have a new competitor, and it's Addie Starr. It's Addie Starr. A beat down Addie Starr, who earlier this afternoon, at the hands of Chris Dickinson and Shayna, did yep. a heavy, heavy beating. But if there's any woman that can really survive in a Rumble style match, it would be Addie Starr. That's true, but this isn't a one-on-one -on -one match she's going to do. This is right now, we see there are 10 competitors in the ring that she has to deal with. Sassy Stephanie attempting to eliminate Shayna. And Addie Starr going to work on Diamond. Meanwhile, Santana nearly has Jules Malone eliminated. Oh, Barbie Hannigan trying to eliminate T Taylor Hendricks. Driving that forehead right into the top turnbuckle. Now practicing her stretches as she chokes out Taylor Hendricks, but the hardcore princess, she's still got beef with yeah. Barbie. And now, and now, Barbie now being, being attacked by a pack of wolves almost by Hendricks and Malone. Here we go, we have a new competitor. Oh, oh, what why? the hell? Get this fun gooliated mess out of here. I love it. There's absolutely no control in WSU right now if this man is in the uncensored rumble. Whipping these fans into a frenzy is Chris Dickinson, ready to take out some pent up aggression on Addy Starr, it looks like. Oh, come on, Addy Starr does not deserve this. Shannon's, look at her, Shannon's actually. Oh, what is this? All the women on the attack, and look at Shanna backing completely away from the pack of rabid women beating the hell out of Dickinson. Why would someone do this to Chris Dickinson? Why would Chris Dickinson enter this match? Hey, he's a competitor here at WSU. He, he did compete earlier tonight. Right. 
Good. I want to see. I want to see the bulldozer versus Marty Bell. I like hope you he's said, in this match. Gang and Dickinson thrown over the top rope by Eddie Starr. Whatever happened to men's rights? Whatever that's a good. Happened? That's a good question. Men's but not, rights, but not to be ever. asked on this broadcast. I am not getting involved in that argument whatsoever. Oh no! Wait a second, Shanna. What happened to women's rights? By Eddie Starr now. She had some insult to injury, trying to take out Portugal, perfect athlete, but Dickinson put her back in. Six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm making a men's right movement. I don't want to see men fight in their underwear anymore. All right, you go, into, you go into the rumble then, all right? Claudia Del Solis. Claudia Del Sol is not able to compete in a one-on-one -on -one match due to the fact that she had her nose broken earlier today, but insisted, insisted that she enter this match here tonight. She looks like something out of glow. Definitely making her presence known. Oh, coming all the way up from Texas. Oh, she almost eliminated Taylor Hendricks. Coming up all the way from Texas. Again, she had her nose broken in that match oh, last no. night. That's a fellow Texas. She was teaming with Barbie Hayden last night. Yeah, but it's all on the line. It's that Spirit Championship. This opportunity of a lifetime is the uncensored rumble. And it looks like Diamond. Oh! Everyone feeling the wrath of Del Solis. Oh, but Malone now trying to reason with it, with her, but it's not working. Attacking her like a wall. God Almighty! What is she biting? Us screams from Malone. She even got Addie Star back in the way, and that's saying something. Addie Star just frightened by Claudia Del Solis right her? after the throat. She came from Texas. You didn't do a background check. I think she scaled the Chupacabra away from Texas. The Chupacabra way in her case. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I like when Emil Jake does the countdown. It's less time I have to spend listening to you guys. Oh. Yes. And you want to announce with us later tonight? Uh, I just lost my CCW spot. Watch out, you never know where she's <laughs> holding. You never know where Andy Social is hiding her brass knuckles. Yeah, that is true. Despite the inspection that Nick Papa Giorgio would love to perform on. Let me let me bring some attention to Barbie Hayden right now, okay? As if she needed any more attention. No, she she's more. positioned herself on that top tone buckle on her own volition where she can see everything that's going on in the ring. However, I think she's at a disadvantage because if somebody comes up quick, they could just dump her off the top. Oh God, look, look, oh. look at the Solis. See, see, see? Going right to work on the, on the, Ken, the woman from Kendigan who was born with brass knucks on her hand. She's the one that's really from the streets, bitch. Well, wait a second, wait a second. It looks like Shanna trying to eliminate Addie Star. A little retribution for eliminating her new boyfriend, I guess you could say, Chris Dickinson. I don't think it's like that at all. Uh, FWB, like that's what I'm thinking. Oh, we yeah. work together once, rare propose. Uh, that does kind of sound like wrestling, though. Oh, 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 God, oh, <laughs> oh my God, that's how she makes her money. She just hit butter on the mouth. She just knocked her out. out. That's a former Miss oh. Texas. Why would you do that? Taylor Hendricks Five, still in the four, match, and we have a new competitor entering right now. There we go. And you gotta think that Kimberly and Annie Social are gonna be working together, right? She right. You would oh think. My God, she runs right into a big coconut tree. Oh, there we go. Oh, taking down Del Solis. Chick's using nasty tactics, but she's right back up. This woman is like none other I've ever seen in WSU, but she just oh. got eliminated. Yeah, see you next Tuesday, right? I've been waiting the whole rumble to say that. I've been waiting for them to come in. Well, chicks with na using nasty tactics is really what they want to be called. And right now, they're going to continue teaming up, trying to eliminate Taylor Hendricks and Sassy, Sassy Stephanie, Stephanie yeah. yes. And it looks like Bale's about to be eliminated by Barbie. Yeah, she's about Wait to bail from this match, not on her own Santana village. Santana now comes oh, no. up behind. That's not fair. She didn't see Santana coming from behind. And Bale, Bale now trying to get in and eliminate Barbie. 
Meanwhile, Shayna Double has teaming. Got the ref should be counting to five on the outside. Shayna now continuing the punishment on Addy Star. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh-oh. Here comes the new number one contender. As I was saying, the new number one contender yes. for the WC World title. Imagine if she had the opportunity to challenge for both the Spirit title and the World title yeah. at the same time. Well, look, she, she's taking advice from a couple of youngins on the outside. This link ring is continuing to fill up with women all looking to earn the prestigious Spirit title shot. And there goes Bale. Sassy Stephanie, though, better be careful. She has her back turned to all the other competitors in the ring. Meanwhile, Annie Social and Kimberly continue to team up, beating the hell hey, out of might, Taylor Hendricks. They might team up until the very end. And as you see, Barbie and Santana. Barbie's in a bad position. There she is. She's going for that water break and using that water bottle as a weapon against Santana. I'm disappointed to see Shayna and Alexis fighting. They're both Portuguese. I thought they would have bonded over the Azores. Not when the spirit title shot is on the line. I think it's different when you're from the island and from the mainland. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Who that? A WSU legend. Yeah, she ends people's careers. She or does. Nia. Yeah. It was either Jana or Nia getting that spot in the Rumble. I didn't see what happened earlier today, but uh, it didn't sound good if the police had to have uh, get involved. And Taylor Hendricks and Shayna have to take note. They've been in here since the very beginning. And look at Taylor Hendricks backing down Portugal's perfect athlete. We've seen them work together and we've seen them fight. No one can be trusted in this match. Absolutely not. Honestly, I think Shayna is just trying to protect her, her, her career in the ring here, her chance. By cowering down, but it might have been to the disadvantage as Taylor Hendricks now trying to shove her out of the ring. Meanwhile, Kimberly being driven into the corner with some massive shoulders by Lexus. Hey. Uh-oh, Jana. Jenna about to be eliminated here by Eddie Starr. Oh, but she hangs on. She sassy Stephanie and Annie Social teen off on each other in the corner. On the other side of the ring, you see. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Isabel Suena, who has continued to impress with every outing here in WSU, enters the ring for the ultimate chance at a Spirit Championship shot. Yeah, going right after Kimberly, but that was a mistake. Annie Social hitting her right from behind. That's what you got to consider in this match. You know, I said you can't trust anyone, but Annie Social and Kimberly, at least until it's the final couple of people, can trust each other, I believe. Oh, uh Suena -oh. shooting that double leg. But sadly, Barbie, Barbie and Steph now. Barbie's in a bad position right now. Yeah, look at Portugal's per perfect oh, athlete. No. She's about to get dumped. Sorry, I was distracted. I know there's a lot going on. It's hard to call a match like this. We've got three referees, three officials. Oh, let's do a five-man booth next year. Where's the Addy Star? Let's bring back John uh, House. Oh God. How about John Harder? What happened to that guy? Let's <laughs> freak out. What the? Brian Logan. <laughs> All right, uh. Pete. <laughs> right now, so much action in the ring. Just trying to soak it all in. And Shannon now. Oh, the Irish whip into the clothesline. Kimberly and Annie Social on the same page. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. 
Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, here comes another graduate. Another graduate from the CCW Academy. She's all fired up. She's probably also one of the most jacked athletes in the CCW Academy. Yeah, what a specimen. Hey, when you're talking about, you know, don't use a word like jack a little bit. It's physically fit. Whatever, she's in beast mode right now, going to work on every competitor in the ring. What an opportunity she has in her first WSU outing. Yeah, it's like night and day between Barracuda Brittany and Samantha St. Paul. But nevertheless, the numbers game finally catching up to her. Believe it or not, I had the opportunity to see Samantha St. Paul in action, actually against Kimberly at the CGW Academy just a few months ago. She's a very impressive competitor. Uh, probably not to, not to the surprise of anybody, she's extremely strong. Hey. She's a product of DJ Hyde. That's all you need to know. Don't put him any more props. They're great and powerful. <laughs> oh man, she's oh, being cool worked stuff. over by Barbie and Lexus. You're gonna think maybe Barbie Hayden feeling a little bit threatened. Maybe no. there's a new alpha female in the ring. Nope. They're making things up. <laughs> he's found his he's found his wife tonight. At least this time it's legal. Who's that? Oh, oh a blast from the past. Uh oh, the ultimate diva in WSU has made his return to WSU here tonight in the Uncensored Rumble. Being showered and welcome back, Chance. He might have a shot in there. Uh, definitely a, a different uh, a different reception than when Chris Dickinson came into the ring. I think he was in the NCAA Heavyweight Finals back in 1996. Do you think we could get a run, we could get away with running Dickinson versus Rick Cataldo? Nah, it'd be a hate crime. I wouldn't hate it. Well, Rick Cataldo taking plus, his sweet time getting plus the ring. Plus, he would just get really turned on by Chris's last name. It's like that, uh, huh? I thought we got rid of the men's club. Not rushing to get back in the ring. We see Jana trying to throw out Swainia. Well, the ultimate diva, though, has not stepped in the ring with these female fighters just yet. Surveying the scene. Samantha St. Paul getting Threaded worked over by the chicks. The it's Sassy Stephanie with the back rake. Oh my god, here comes Nyla Rose. Nyla Rose. And I thought uh, Del Solis was nasty. Look at this woman. Might want to watch your words. Right, I'm all the way over here, thank God for that. Oh, just oh. like that, depositing Sassy Stephanie outside the ring. Now oh. targeting the WSU Hall of Famer and Jana. Yeah. There goes Jana. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh, trying to take the fight to Samantha St. Paul. I mean, that was a rookie mistake. Uh-oh. Wait a second. Not a bad a, idea if they team up. That's a good strategy from the young St. Cloud. And Cataldo finally making his way into the ring. Well, maybe. He's still asking it. Cataldo in the past has been more of a manager in WSU than really an in-ring competitor. Hey, one of the most BFFs forming in the corner there with Barbie and Cataldo. I'm not. I'm not surprised. Uh -oh. Oh, wait a second. That might have been a, have been a signal oh, transmission by the Illuminati coming through. Uh oh. How would you describe Cataldo's outfit? Is it bell why. bottoms? Is it a singlet? What is he taking off? Oh, it's um, knee string, I believe. What? <laughs> it's almost like a quail, it's a quail man drink string. <laughs> oh, man, oh. look at that. Six, five, four, three, two, oh my God! Look at Samantha St. Paul just going to town. She's out of control. Oh, what a oh! Hat. Oh man! <laughs> and he just feels her up in the process. I don't think I was feeling oh, no. up. Here. Oh shit! Shot him. Just leveled to the outside. 
Well, the two competitors that started the match aren't going to be finishing it. No. It's starting to get real vicious out here in the uncensored rumble. Things have certainly heated up. The level of aggression, all the competitors realizing the struggle of this match and what's on the line. They're going all out, and we may have seen a casualty because of that. Yeah, Rick Catala definitely making a splash in his return to WSU. Meanwhile, Jesse Brooks taking on that big behemoth herself. I'm sorry for the terrible uh, adjectives, but what else can you call a woman? <laughs> I don't oh my know. God! And she's paying for it too. Oh, oh God no. Almighty! Stink face. Jesse Brooks. Oh no! Oh, he's twerking. He is twerking. Swamp ass face. face. Swamp Six, ass face. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, and here we go. Nevaeh is not looking to leave WSU empty-handed here tonight. Nevaeh lost earlier tonight against Lexus for a WSU World Championship shot, and she's going right to work on Lexus, trying to eliminate her. A little retribution. That's what's on OI4K's Nevaeh's mind right now, choking the life out of Lexus. In the corner, we see that behemoth. Trying to take out what I've called many times before, that nine on the Am Romney scale, Kimberly. I will say, if anything, Kimberly changed her, her, her wardrobe. From Professionalism. Her Some oh. people dress for success around here. I can relate. Uh, I think Chris, or excuse me, Rick Catano would like to take you on a night on the town. Yeah, yeah, dress. You have to take a brush nice mall, or the Cherry Hill Mall, whatever's oh. closer. Kimberly's chances at a shot at Marty Bell, hanging the balance. But look over there. Right behind them, Samantha St. Paul. Christina Von Erie making her way back to the ring now. Yeah, I just want to provide you guys with an update. Oh, no! Oh, no! From the back. Up and eliminated. An update from the back. We've got Maddox checking on Shayna right now. Oh, wait a second, Kimberly! Oh, God. It's going to take a lot more than that. The strength of that woman. That's like moving a brick wall. It's not going to move. Yeah, except the brick wall doesn't fight back. Exactly. Samantha St. Paul is not looking good at Santana, trying to eliminate her. One thing you gotta realize about some of these competitors who are trying to throw them over the top rope is a lot of them are shorter than the male athletes we often see in professional wrestling, and it's harder to get that leverage to dump them over the top. That's a very good point. Right. To dump them through the middle or underneath the middle rope. Oh, oh. God almighty! That was the only way they were going to get her out, too. And look at Santana smartly hugging the bottom rope as Ezebel Swania tries to eliminate her. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Christina Von Erie taking the walk Well, what a coup Jenny Rose would have returning to the ring for WSU here tonight with a number one contendership for the spear title. And you know what? Very prime spots for Jenny Rose and Christina Bonieri. Wrestling in the opening contest and then getting a late draw into the uncensored rumble. Well, here's an interesting team up here. Christina Bonieri and Samantha St. Paul. Christina Bonieri, one of the trainers of the women in the CZW Academy, teaming up with her trainee. sure why you would save someone as they're about to be dumped to the outside, but maybe there's something we know. Maybe there's secret alliances. Well, Nevaeh now teaming up with Christina Von Erie to attack Jenny Rose. An unlikely combination. Well, it's likely oh, no. when Jenny Rose is that uh, smug attitude she returned with. Oh, no. This being twisted over that apron. 
Isabel Sweeney holding on for dear life, as is Jenny Rose. Sammy St. Paul been eliminated. Saw her in the pre-show. The kickoff, the WXU's Uncensored Rumble. And here she is drawing the prime spot, this 28-woman Uncensored Rumble. Yeah, can originally scheduled to be 30, but injuries, travel issues certainly taking their toll this weekend. All right, let me ask you first, Jake Black. We see the competitors in the ring right now. Who's your money on? Who do you see wrestling Marty Bell? Barbie, clearly. Uh-oh, bad timing. How about you, Dan? Who's your pick? Right now, I don't know. I mean, Christina Von Erie's been making oh. waves. Wow, Nevaeh. Small piece of retribution for Nevaeh. Yeah. I don't know. My pick right here, I think I'm going to be going with Jenny Rose. I think Jenny Rose is hot on the comeback. That is true. Right now, any one of these women could walk out with that coveted championship shot at a future WSU event. Of course, one thing that may be working against Jenny Rose is that she doesn't have some, uh, excuse me, Sammy Giordano, Veda Scott, or Jesse Brooks there by her side like she did when she defeated Christina Von Erich earlier tonight. Maybe she can summon them for support, moral support. Christina, Kimberly's in a lot of trouble in the corner. Christina Von Erich now taking it to Barbie. 28's in a lot of trouble too, standing on that apron. Oh, Santana now, impressive. Oh, and I think Santana may have eliminated. She did that for you, Dan. She did that for you. I think Santana no, I may have eliminated more. That was for her own good. That was for her to become a future champion here, possibly. I think Santana may have eliminated more than anyone else tonight in this matchup. I don't, I don't know. Wait, well, Santana Swing is still in this match. Oh. Looking to eliminate Santana. Meanwhile, Jenny Rose with those shoulder blocks driving the van. Oh, no! Oh, no! She is that? so getting a condolence tweet in the next 30 seconds. Oh, look at her crying. Why don't you go give her a hug, Jake? Well, I'm working. There's going to be a riot here. Before. There's going to be a riot. Vaneri taking her down. All oh, right. Oh, wait, she's she's, she's back, back in. She's back in. in. What Entrant number 29. She didn't even want anybody to hold the ropes for her. Entrant number 29. She's refusing to leave, She's refusing to leave the match. Barbie Hayden's twin. Arby's Hayden. Yeah, She's sponsored. She's got a sponsor. That's Arby's Hayden. Wait a minute. You know what I just realized? Kimberly just let him make Christina Von Eri and it's... Well, they don't like each other. Yeah, if you remember, at the end of CZW New Heights, last month live on CZW IPBB, Kimberly actually attacked, viciously attacked Christina Von Erle in that whole vicious attack of the campaign on Masada. Yeah, and you just saw Kimberly use foul language against campaign policy against Christina Von Erle. It's, Kimberly's in a weird position here in WSU. Teaming with any social and then still having to, to follow the, the rule book of Drew Gulak. We got, we got the final five though. Well, Barbie, these five women are gonna come out and challenge Marty Bell. Well, Barbie finally taken to the back, eliminated, as Isabel Sweeney had trying to eliminate oh. Novaya and does so. Novaya has been eliminated. Now we're down to the final four. Kimberly, Jenny Rose, Santana Garrett, and Isabel Sweeney. Pick me a winner, Denver, Colorado. Yeah, you're the one that hasn't given us a pick. And we're giving you the odds. No, I picked. Didn't I pick? I picked. I picked Jenny Rose. Oh, that's right. That's right. Sorry, a lot of My pick's still alive. You picked Lexus and uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, I just over here picked Barbie Hayden. You guys, you guys are bad at picking. I had to tweet Barbie. I might have missed some things. I picked Christine Monnieri. Nevertheless, I'm still wrong. But right now, Isabel Suena back in Santana up into the ropes. This mysterious woman from New Mexico oh. has been making waves. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm holding on for dear life right now. Yeah, Santana. Oh. What a maneuver! And we Santana has been Oh, that sucks Santana for Santana. realized that like four or five times right. during this matchup, and that time. Uh, and Santana yelling back at Swain and saying she got lucky, and I think she damn sure did. And Jenny Rose now standing tall in the center of the ring. That's your pick, Denver. 
Kenny Rose is taking it. What do you want me to tell you? You don't come back hey, from Japan in this hot. He has inside information. He's WSU's Reddit guy. <laughs> That's oh, good. That's oh, good. I like that second. one. Oh, oh, oh my pick! Wrong. My pick! All right, I guess you're not the Reddit guy. But we have the final two. Kimberly looking to challenge Marty Bell. It will it be this mysterious and unorthodox woman from New Mexico, as you put it, Isabel Suena. Isabel Suena kind of quietly, quietly getting to the final two here. Hasn't really made much waves, but I mean, that's what it takes in an uncensored rumble. Stay quiet, stay low, and you're gonna survive. Yeah, certainly the technique, the strategy of this match now changing drastically, now that there's only one other competitor that you have to worry about. Nevertheless, I mean, you're still looking to get them out of the ring, but now you get the opportunity oh. to try and wear them down a little bit more. Oh, and Swayne almost taken out of the up. ring with that Hurricane Rana. Kimberly now. Utilizing that cut Kun Rana and sending her to the apron, but not enough. I don't think that's what she was talking about earlier. She told you about that. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, oh wait no. a second, wait a second. Oh! Isabel Suena. My tag team partner, Diego De La Cruz. Since when are we tag team partners? Uh, tag team partners for life. Hello. Oh, you mean tag team commentating partners? Yes, that's okay. that. Whatever. Okay. Yes. And yes. where are we tonight? For tonight only. We are in the Houston Premier Arena for Loco Wrestling. That's right. In the ring, you see, we got Delilah Doom, all the way from the '80s. I know, man. Look at that flashback <laughs> to the 80s. Makes me want to do my aerobics. Look at them leg warmers. They look very, very comfortable. Look at that. And her opponent seems to be Insidious One, the Insidious One, who seems to have crawled under the ring. I don't see her. Where is she Actually, at, Diego? I didn't see where she went. I just saw that she just disappeared. Uh, 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 uh. Look, uh, uh. Okay, Delano Doom What? cannot turn her back on Insidious One. Look at her. <laughs> She's like a snake. She's gonna slither and crawl and hide to freak I out her opponent. I don't blame Delilah for being scared. I'm scared for Isaac. Isaac needs to get out of the way. <laughs> you and Isaac, what is it with you and Isaac? Isaac Bouillon, the best referee. Oh, oh. I see he's getting aggressive right Take out control, of the Take control, Isaac, you're the ref. But look at City just stalking. Oh man, I'm Her creeped. Opponent. I'm creeped out. I can't even commentate this match. Looking for a reset. Delilah's not gonna let that fly. And I am personally excited to see the Insidious one back in action. It's been what seven months that she's been wow, has it out been of that the grid. It's been wow. that long. We haven't seen the Insidious one for about seven months. So. <laughs> We gotta take that into consideration. Will that affect her performance tonight? And she's doing her, <laughs> ste her, her step routine right on the back of the hey, insidious hey, one. She's fit, all right. She does calisthenics, aerobics. Yep, yep. Here we go, Delilah. Hit. Oh, with the arm drag out. To the outside, Delilah Duke. Boom! Big shoulder check in the stomach. With the, oh, oh man. Very the nice. Tip. Wait. Okay, didn't work to her advantage. <laughs> the city is just ready for everything. I'm that telling Delilah you, it's Duke been seven oh, months. Man. So she's hungry tonight. She's here to prove. She's definitely on her game. Yep. 
She's here to prove that those seven months, like uh -oh. shooting Skip uh -oh. and Pete. Hung up on the rope. Six. Oh! oh. And should we say seven one three eight three two three four six? <laughs> I don't know what the area code is for the for the eighties right, though. Fancy pants from uh, Denver, oh. Colorado. Man, one. Oh, kick Dang, out at one. Kick out okay. at one. It's gonna be hard to get an aerobics instructor. Her cardio is on point. Exactly what it I was going to say. It is on point. See this one looking to be in, in charge at the moment. Oh, no. What is that? That is on her hands. Like, she has black hands. I don't know. It looks like she must have dipped her hands into um, the fiery depths of hell. Oh. Kick out. Two and a half. Almost had her. Almost had her. Watch out, Isaac. <laughs> wow. hey, if he gets in the crossfire, he's gonna get hit, okay? You know the risks, you Isaac. You know, I love Isaac. He's, he's a good kid, he's a good ref. <laughs> but seeing him take a shot from the city would be amazing. Hey, these are women, but hey, if he gets in the way, Ooh. that strike is gonna hurt. Wow, tore her arm out of socket, wow. Oh, another Dang. one. Look at that. Boom. Big D to the face of Delilah Doom from Insidious One. These guys, or these women, I should say, I'm sorry, are definitely heavy hitters. Ah, kick out at two and a half. Almost had her. Delilah Doom has to find a second to regain her strength to kind of, you know, get a strategy a strategy going. Like I said, it's been seven months. We don't know what the Insidious has been doing in those That's, seven months. Or where she's, she's been, been training, weightlifting. We don't know. Oh, throws her in. Definitely working on that shoulder. That shoulder may come into play later on. Yes. I mean, Delilah may not be able to pick her up for whatever she has coming at her. Oh, the Insidious one, definitely very aggressive tonight. Very, very aggressive. Lots of shots, man. Lots of shots. Ooh! <laughs> Stomach shot. Ooh, big, big forearm. She's got to keep it going. Come on, Delilah Doom. If she wants to win, she's got to stay on it. Ooh! Oh. Oh, chest to chest. Man. Oh, with the easy cover. Look at that. That's just arrogance coming out of Insidious. Maybe that's arrogance all over her hands. <laughs> <laughs> arrogance just happens to be black. Isaac, watch out, Isaac. We got the crowd here at Local Wrestling behind Delilah Doom. Oh, with the roll up. Is it going to be enough one? Kick oh. out at one. Kick out at That's one. That's showing a lot all right. of life because all right. before that she was getting. Exactly. So count, uh, kick out at she's two. recharging, all right? She's recharging. <laughs> well, at least Ooh. we know. At least we know at this point her legs are warm. <laughs> Whoa. Two. Oh, I thought she nearly had her there, Diego. She is not letting up. She is not. Oh, is she going to go for it again? Oh, no. It's a di oh, wow. Got her in a submission. We got a train in here, apparently. And that was the distraction oh, that Delilah Doom needed. That train helped. <laughs> Gotta capitalize. Right, she got, she got Come on, that momentum. Oh. oh! Big knee to the side of the head. Whoa, man. She's stuck. Nah, she's not stuck. She uh -oh. knows exactly she what she's doing. Outside. What the? Whoa! Oh, big leg drop. You know, and I'm a sneakerhead. She happens to be doing this all in them Reebok classics. I'm, I'm loving the sneaker choice by Delilah. You know Dewey. what? I, I love her outfit. Very aerodynamic. Oh, flying back elbow. Is it enough? She's got to cover. She's got to cover. Come on, Doom. You got to cover. Leg. Whoa. Oh, big kick out by the insidious kick one. Kick out at three. 
the crowd trying to get behind Lila Doom. And you see her grabbing onto her uh, to her left shoulder. So. Well, that's a shoulder that she had been working. she has been working on the whole Oy. match. Oh. Oh. Ooh. And like I said, these are two strong women. I mean, they're gonna strike it out. Oh, just unleash it on Insidious one. Unleash the 80s. Oh, snapmare takedown. Ooh. Oh, she misses the kick to the back with the roll up. Could it be, could it be? Oh. Ah, kick out at two. These are a lot of close calls. Here we go, Insidious back to that, that rear chin lock. I'm loving how she hooks that leg. Or, I'm sorry, hooks that arm with her leg, giving her like no way to get out. The fight out. Fighting out of the hole. We come with a backslide. Oh, no, 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 take a backslide. No, 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 no. It's a looks like some kind of. Whoa! That's gotta hurt. That's gotta be enough. It's gotta cover, Delilah. Gotta go, cover. Go. One, two. Ooh, what? Was that a three? That was the three count. Is that the three count? Well, Ring the bell. What? It looked like that was a fall count three. I mean, it sounded like a three. That kick out was so close, apparently we thought it was a three, but it wasn't I, a three I mean, count. I thought it was a three. I mean, he, Isaac looked at me. Isaac looked at you? Yeah. Why looked, did he look at he, you? He winked at me, apparently. We're going to have a talk with him later. Look, Diego, oh. I'm not responsible for what people are doing, all right? <laughs> oh, oh, he's got him in the sleeper. There oh, we go. He chopped her out, chopped her there out. There we go. <laughs> Insidious one walking away with the submission win. but this is no beauty contest. This is ladies' night out nine. And I fully expect someone to get hit in the face and pretty quickly here. Yeah. Oh, and a shout out here on the Super Chat to TX Bear 07 Glad to be watching from Abilene, Texas. Well, TX Bear. We're glad to have you. Thank you for supporting Title Match Network and Ladies Night Out. And uh, tell your friends about us. Help us get over that million mark right here tonight. I'll have a drink in your honor later. We are so close to a million. We are. We're like 12,000 away. It's not much. Head scissors there from the Mexican princess. Jasmine Allure. I mean, I'm impressed. I was assuming that Tesha would just take this to task already, but Jasmine's given her a run for her money. As we stated earlier, Tesha Price as well competed earlier here this afternoon. You wouldn't know it by that kick to the face, however. Jesus. Cover here. One, two, and a kick out. Cobra Kai called. They are ready and willing to offer a contract here at Tesha Price. I mean, like I said, you know, you can kick out, but sometimes do you really want to? No. 
It's a good point. If someone kicked me in the face like that, I would stay down. Mm -hmm. Then again, I've got great health care, too, so. You have health care? I, I do. Oh, that's wonderful. Take me to the hospital, please. <laughs> Tesha's just doing the traditional, oh. Well, I was gonna say Tesha was traditionally showing her the turnbuckle. She may be traditionally out of it here. Yeah. <laughs> Kick out at two. Jasmine Allure may have heard you, Brittany. She's a quick learner. About to learn that the human vertebrae is not as, as strong as advertised when you're in there with Tesha Price. That shot to the back, reverberating through the arena here. I mean, she's right, it was her choice. It was her choice the whole time to step into the ring with Tesha. Tesha Price went for another one of those knife edge chops. Missed the mark, Jasmine Allure. Doing her best, but it, her best is just not enough, quite frankly. Oh my goodness, those chops sharper than a Japanese steak knife. I mean, my chest hurts from that. I'm gonna need Tums just from watching this match. Cover here. Kick out at one. Kick Shout out, out at to one Tums. Again. I know, everyone's getting some love tonight. Five hour energy, Tums, who else? For our fans over 60, Metamucil. <laughs> what else do we got? <laughs> the first time I've ever seen an, uh, an athlete apologize to Isaac Bullion. Normally he's just booed by the fans here and then abused by the talent. I mean, isn't that what you sign up for when you become a referee, though? Uh, we, very astute observation, Brittany. That's why you're paid the big bucks, to be here and provide <laughs> expert analysis. <laughs> I do what I can. I went to school for it and everything. Okay. Jasmine Allure trying to steal one here. I'm starting to get the sense that this is much more of a fight than it is a wrestling match. I would agree. It's definitely each other trying to overpower. And Jasmine, I'm pretty impressed. I'm not going to lie. Tesha Price competed at Shimmer, Shine, Rise, and of course the Mae Young Classic in 2018. Not sitting in the waiting room waiting for her opportunity. No, she is going to kick down a door at some point, and uh, that door may open if this performance continues here at Ladies Night Out 9. Jasmine Allure slips out there, coming back. Boot downstairs. Shotgun drop kick to the temple. I mean, if Jasmine Allure can pull this off, it is a huge mark for her. Modified blockbuster, which could score a three. Almost. It's a 9.5 on the landing, but no three count on the mat. The match rolls on. I have, to, I have to say, however, Brittany, that uh, I don't think Tesha Price was planning on a fight like this with Jasmine Allure. No, not at all. She's having to pull out all the stops, even more than she did for the show at the beginning. Oh, face buster right there, which could spell disaster. Cover here. No, somehow Tesha Price wakes up before the three count. I thought she was out for sure. Jasmine Allure is a fighter. 
I, I give her so much credit already. Like, I, I'm now I'm rooting for her. Now I feel like I want Jasmine to take over. Jasmine looking for a crossbody. Tasha just powers her down. Two. And again. This young lady has some intestinal fortitude in her, to say the least. Inside cradle attempt here. Turns that into a lateral press pin attempt. And now Tasha on top. And that submission maneuver is nothing short of medieval. Very uncomfortable. I don't know how she could stand it any longer. I would definitely be tapped out by now. anything against your opponent no, never not. take take and for I granted. really do believe she probably has because like you said before she did not come out dancing she did not come out excited she, she came not. out focused and ready to try to advance into this tournament I love I love mean streak La Rosa I love it I love it I shouldn't get violent I mess somebody up I, I'm ready to see it I'm here for it it really is here. and our ref in there you might recognize her she is Phoebe Phoebe, Phoebe, Phoebe. Shout out to Phoebe. Shout out to Phoebe. I call Phoebe. her Phoebe, Phoebe, Phoebe. Sure. No one else can. Do you now? I do. <laughs> I do. Oh. The crowd calls her test of strength. I don't know if that will be in LaRosa Negra's favor. As it turns out, Heidi actually nationally competed in powerlifting and oh. strong woman. So oh. I don't know if LaRosa Negra should, should engage in this. Well, and that's the thing is they are similar height, but Heidi's got a little bit of an advance yeah, on her. Yeah, similar height, but he Heidi definitely got some, she got some pounds on her. Heidi saying she's very tricky. <laughs> and Heidi herself making some jokes already, making some bad puns. And she actually has said herself. She said some bad puns. Heidi, she's cracking on your jokes. <laughs> oh. Oh. And LaRosa Negra did oh. not come here for her games. I love it. I love it. Straight to the butt oh. whooping. She she's not about indeed. that life. No, she came here to win. She did come here to win. She didn't come here for the bad puns. Ooh. She didn't come for the jokes. LaRosa. La Rosa Negra going in there hard Going on in Heidi. hot. Going in hot. Mean streak. I love it. I cannot uh -oh. believe. Heidi back on her. Oh, oh, oh. 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 This is part of the chop night. I don't know. I mean, it was like some flailing chops. It's very it was. It was. I don't know. Okay, we don't include. Oh, beautiful European uppercut. Chops. Oh. oh. I felt that one. That was nice. I give her that one. I give oh. her that one. Heidi getting the crowd going. So far, they have proven it's not to be indeed. a Indeed. Oh, oh! In a titty city. I, I think that counts as a chop. That's happening. Hashtag titty city. Are we doing? Are we hashtagging that? I mean, why not? All right, Brittany said we're hashtag. Hashtag titty city. Suplex oh! city. Suplex city. I Beautiful mean, at least German. For this match. La Rosa Necker cooking out. That was a devastating German suplex that Heidi pulled was out right there. really intense, and she usually calls that the golden arches, and you can see why. Heidi only two years in wrestling. Oh, oh. You do something like that, you got to stay on the wrestling record. She is a veteran of this game. You do she, not let up on her. You she, got her down, you keep it up. Oh. Look, look right now. The Rose elbow is not supposed to bend that oh. way. I don't know, it might be kick night. You know, it, we, we, had, we had a lot of kicks. Rachel Rose with the kicks. No, the wrestling yeah. record taking it to Heidi right now. We might have to. I want you guys to come up with your oh! own. Oh! It might there be There she goes. Night. She's taking that body part out. Take out a limb. There you guys what you do. You and that is opponent. that veteran mentality. And that's the exactly. thing, too, is La Rosa Negra has traveled all over the world wrestling. And Heidi Howitzer has only been in this business for two years. That's so right, she's that's got right. some learning to do. Oh, she's going to learn today. <laughs> if, I, if I can quote, she's going to learn today. La Rosa Negra she, is show. taking her to task right now. Taking her now. to school. Take her to school, La Rosa Negra. We all got to learn. Take her. Rosa oh! Negra making fun of her opponent. And a I'm a fan again. of it. I'm a fan of it. Oh, and back on that arm. Back on it. This, I'm sorry. This is a beautiful brutality, folks. I love this. But you know what? Phoebe Phoebe is definitely calling it down the middle. Phoebe, Phoebe oh, keep, keep them in control, Phoebe. A Phoebe wrestler in those. herself. 
Oh my god, okay. Phoebe and those freaking sunflower shorts. You, you better change the game, Phoebe. You know change what? The game she is the changing the game. That's I mean, right. why shouldn't referees be fashionable? Why should they not, right? Yeah. You why? can wear a striped shirt and still exactly. rock something. Else. I mean, the commentary team is over I mean, here looking fashionably as we can ever be. Why not? Oh, oh. oh. The Russell Negger back on that arm and biting the hand. That is a. Biting the hand. That is Breaking oh. the face. You know, that is a vicious veteran right there. I love it. I I'm here so for it. I love this. I'm sorry. Keep going, LaRosa. Give me more. I am I am I'm excited and also just shocked because, again, this is a night and day LaRosa next oh. that we saw from last show. Exactly. Last time she came out here, she was dancing, shaking she babies, happy. all that. She's not playing today. And I don't think Heidi was expecting this. Was she shaking babies? That's I, I mean, I mean, you know. <laughs> something like that. You got to go to the replay. Don't quote yeah. me. Go to the re Go to the video. Don't quote me, though. <laughs> Something like shaking babies. No! Oh, beautiful leg drop. And another oh. one to the arm. Systematically breaking her oh. down. She literally almost slipped Heidi over there by the way she hooked both her legs. I gotta so say, this is my first time seeing LaRosa Negra like this, and I love it. It's a little unnerving, but I also. Oh, just I, get the my nerves are loving it. My nerves are loving it. My nerves are loving it. Keep That's it up, cool. LaRosa. Into the corner. Somehow Heidi back on top. Heidi ready for her to come oh. out. That kick. A kick to the chest. Off the ropes. Oh, what's, what's she going Heidi got here? here? Oh. Got her in a bear hug. That's that power right there. And you know I wouldn't want to be. No. Oh. Into a northern lights with a beautiful. Beautiful. Bris. La Rosa kicked out. The golden arches from Heidi Howitzer there. Beautiful, beautiful move. Crowd arguing still, whether it was two or three. I, I believe Rosa did get her. Still, get her. still not she enough. Got the, she got the shoulder up. And the veteran She's back on her. Face. Back on her, working that arm. She's going for that arm again. Going for the arm. She's freaking beautiful. Back. Freaking beautiful. At Rip, this the, point. I feel like she just ripped the limb out and beat her over the head with it. At this point, please. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting for it. Just rip the limb out. Just start beating her over the head with it. Please, well, that's Rosa. the thing. At this that point. That would make beautiful pictures. At this point. I think Heidi has uh, had her chiropractor stuff done she's for the year. She's had her chiropractor. She's got her wrestling lesson. she got her stretching out. she got her yoga. Heidi better send LaRosa a thank you letter after but this. But this right. crowd already hyped up, clapping, trying to, I guess, she, will Heidi back into. Uh, I don't think they will in nothing. I'm sorry. They're not willing it enough. LaRosa Negra is tearing <laughs> her apart. Oh, and that's it, folks. Oh. That is it. Heidi has submitted. I don't blame her. LaRosa Negra. Dang near, took her freaking arm off. All I was just waiting for her to take it off and beat her over the head with it. That's all that match was missing. Oh. Women Crush Wednesday. Watch it now, only at TitleMatchNetwork.com. To my left, they hail from Australia. They are impressive Indie Hartwell, and she's hardcore Shaza McKenzie. And their opponents to my right, first. This is Vida Scott! And her tag team partner, she recently hopped off the counter at the local bodega. She is one thick king with the best Lara Cat in wrestling. Hashtag Body Cat Alley
Crush Wednesday. Watch it now. Only at TitleMatchNetwork.com. And Black Widow doesn't look at all intimidated by this match. I mean, the stipulation is, uh, I mean, I would be nervous walking into a dog collar match. I mean, look at you. You are going to be tied up to your opponent. With a freaking metal chain, okay. Around so your neck. So wherever you go, exactly wherever you go, your your opponent is there, and you can use the dog chain as a weapon. And I'm sure this is no disqualification match. Looks like the ref is having a little bit of an issue trying to get this collar on Sadika. Is that Isaac? That's not Isaac. That is not Isaac. That's not your boy.
Why is Jay Davis trying to book up all the way to Sadika? He's barking up the wrong tree. I'll tell you that right now, okay? I tell you that right now. Yo, Black Widow and Sadika are no strangers to each other. We've seen them fight all over the place, all over Texas. Also in Mexico as well. They're very familiar with each other. And, uh, wow. Black Widow's not taking that sitting down either. She's telling the crowd exactly how she feels. <laughs> if you accept this match, a dog collar match against Sadika, you're a badass. You're a badass in my book, all right? If, if you put your pen to that paper and say, Sh yes, I will wrestle Sadika in a you're dog a collar badass. match. Yes. And anything can happen. You knowing that, you accept this matchup. It's not even a match, it's a fight. It's a fight to the death, and that's the scary part of it. Look, I you mean, got people all needs over to the watch world. Watch out, all right. This is what is this? His first day here. He needs to be careful. <laughs> Don't get in the way. Stay out of the way. But you got people all over the country, all over. Well, I would say both countries of the United States of America and Mexico. All over the world. Let's just say that. that all over the world. Turn down matches with Sadika. Not even dog collar matches in general. Just matches in general. They do not want a piece of Sadika. She's scary, bro. And yeah, Black we're Widow, starting up she signed the paper. Hot. We got Sadika. Oh, she's trying to get all the quarters. Oy, oh. oy, she, she hit all three quarters. She was going for the last one. Black Widow pulled her with the dog collar. And that's the thing. You can use the chain as a weapon. Definitely. Definitely. An advantage. Look, he's got Jay Davis getting in the way. Did you see that? He was oh. hitting Sadika. Are you kidding me? Are you what? stupid? Oh, look, but no, he's got the. Sadika's got her insurance policy too. Ades is out there going to make sure that this is fair. Well, as fair as a dog collar match can be. I don't think it's fair that they're chained to each other, but. Oh, oh. man. Double kicks to the back. Got one. Two, two. corners that are taps. Uh, takes Black it down Widow. again. Pulls her again. But you see how, how much... Using the chain as a weapon, she's oh, choking her yes. out. Look, she's taking her right to Sadika, which is what you have to do. If you earn Sadika's respect, you won half the battle. That's the thing. is, which any Anybody she's in the ring with, she, she doesn't respect anybody because she knows that she can pretty much beat the crap out of anybody she wants. Oh, double stomp to the stomach. We got one... One corner that's tapped. We got Sadika Two. holding onto the to the chain and pulls oh. it right back. She only Black Widow only got to tap two corners. You have to tap oh. all four corners to win this match. Oh. oh backbreaker. A back cracker. Backbreaker. While she while she's being choked. Why? She was just about to tap that third rope. We got the local crowd here at the Houston Premier Arena behind Sadika, who is the fan favorite. Oh, big shots. Oh, Sadika having a problem with her mask, it looks like. at a rock bottom to Sadika I was just going to say, Widow. Sadika One. just hit a rock bottom. Two. Just hit rock bottom, I'm sorry. Nope. Black Widow reaching for that turnbuckle. That's the thing, you got to beat your opponents. You got to tire them out. You got to knock them out almost, especially if you're going against somebody that, like Sadika, who's strong, who's known to tolerate pain, all right? You have to put him down so that you're insured to tap all four corners. I was waiting for that to happen and I uh, kind of wish it never did. I saw it and I felt it and it hurts. Oh no. Now we're, we're inside of the playground. Into the chairs we go. Things are going to get very complicated. You're tied up to each other. You're out of the ring around all these fans that don't mind getting hit, okay? Uh-oh. 
These people need to move out of the way. What this are is they dangerous. doing? Oh, she's very, using very, a cooler. What is she doing? She's using a cooler. She's emptying out a cooler. No way. No way. No, she's Don't not. Do it. No, she's not. Oh, my God. Oh. Finally, guys just poured the cooler and hit Black oh. Widow with the cooler. You can use anything as a weapon. It's a no disqualification match. This is a freaking fight, okay? Anything and everything is allowed. Oh. Black Widow's not out of it, though. It's just water. It doesn't hurt, but it's going to be a she distraction. She hit her with the cooler. Oh, oh. hit her with the freaking chair. Those aren't folding chairs. Those are, like, stationary <laughs> chairs. These are... Oh, you know what? I... What is she doing? Oh, crossbody onto the chair. Black Widow. Oh. What oh, the no. hell what is, is Jay going Davis on? What doing? is he walking down Did the he aisle with? The freaking are those freaking light bulbs? Oh no! This is a recipe for both blood and disaster. People are scattering. Move out of the way, people! You're gonna get caught in the crossfire. And let me tell you, it's, it's not nightmare takedown. Be Look, ladies and gentlemen, we're on the other side of the building. We can't necessarily see what's going on, but all I know is it's gonna be chaos. There's another chair. Sadika is grabbing another chair. Threw oh. it at Black Widow. Oh no. What is that that she just threw that looks in like, the ring? Could that be what I think it is? Is that a piece of glass? That's a freaking piece. That's a windshield. That's a vehicle windshield. Oh That's no. A... Oh. She's choking her. And we have Jay Davis walking around with the freaking light bulbs. Black Widow back on top of the reversal. Look. If you see that we're being a little quiet on commentary, we can't necessarily see what's going on. That and I'm, I'm in shock, okay? And we're, and we shock. have Black Widow just pulled Sadika back into the ring. Action is back into the ring. Everybody's on their feet. Nobody wants to miss a thing. Sadika. Oh! oh. Big slam. She's going to go for the corners. She's going to go for the corners. One. Two, Two. Three, three corners. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, right she almost corner. got it. Black she almost got the last corner. Sadika's dog collar. Ground and pound. Ground and pound, look. I'm not... I don't see an end to this match. I do. Somebody... In the hospital. That's how you finish this up. Oh, she's going for the corner. Was she going for a pin there? I think she forgot. No. Nah. We have Black Widow. Oh, what's he doing talking to Jay Davis? Oh, my God. Black Widow just told Jay Davis to bring the freaking light bulbs. Don't. The light that's bulbs not that I've what been she said. Ever since that's not what she said. I saw him bring, bringing those. Oh, yeah. One corner. It looks like. Jay Davis oh. can't find those light bulbs. It looks like Aris might have hit him. Is it? Oh, no, 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 no. Everybody stay back, stay back. Just gonna keep on fighting. Todos atrás, más atrás, por favor. Lowrider telling everybody to stay back, which he's, I, I heed his warning. Everybody should stay the hell away from There's these two There's so many luchadors. people that are up on their feet, Lucha right Lutras. around. Jay Davis, what are you doing? And they just need to be cautious to their surroundings. These ladies, they don't care who is around. This is a freaking fight, and they want to win, okay? They don't care who gets in the way. We have Black Widow tapping one corner. 
Sadika blocking her, stopping her. Oh no, oh my what are you God. doing? Sadika, don't do it! No! Oh! Oh, I'm... Yes, that you just saw that. A... Sadika just hit Black Widow with a freaking She's going for the corner. windshield. Oh, what? How is Black Widow How alive? How she's still moving is beyond, How beyond she's me. How she's alive beyond after me. that? Oh, man. That was a car window. I, I don't even know how Black Widow is, is even able to function after that. Oh, she's got another one. Oh my Where gosh, she has another. She has another one. Oh. oh my god, Diego! What the hell? One. Black Widow two, just shattered that car window onto Sadika's three. head! She didn't make. I'm getting goosebumps. Oh, she ripped her shirt. That now we're now we're getting now we're getting it's scared. It's gonna hurt, here. all right. It's gonna hurt. She just took off Black Widow's T-shirt. Oh! And onto the glass. And her onto the onto the glass. She, oh, she's pulling her outside. Yeah, she's she's yanking that collar. She's yanking that collar. Oh no. Sadika removing the, the protective mats that are on the floor. Apparently it's loco, daddy. You know what? I, did somebody call the cops yet? Because I'm really close to it. These are somebody's sanctuary gonna grounds, all right? Oh my God, Anything her back. and everything is possible. You know, after that shattered glass, I mean, those chops are just, oh. it's a dream, really. I bet. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. No. No, Sadika, no. I mean. Suplex. Oh, oh to the outside. I think I just suplexed Black Widow to the outside of the ring. Remember, keep in mind those rubber mats, that mat protective mats are out. They moved, she, she picked them up. Concrete first. Oh, what's going on in the ring? We have Addis. Oh! Onto the glass. It's going crazy. This whole place is going crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, watching at home. We have absolutely no idea how loco, how crazy it is live right now wow. at this moment. We have the crowd Jay Davis. up on their feet. The walls are about to burst. Sadika is back on her feet. One. Please we hit have all four Jay corners. Jay Davis with the freaking Two. trash bin. I mean. Three. Sadika. Oh, oh Jay Davis hey, with the trash can to the back of Otis. One. We got one corner. Two. Two corners that are tabs. Three, Three corners that are tabs. One more, Sadika. Oh, oh you are got to be kidding me! Jay oh, Davis goodness. just speared Sadika! Are you freaking kidding me? No way. One. Jay Davis is just carrying Black Widow, dragging her, assisting her to Two. tap every single corner. Three, Three. corners. One more corner. One more corner. Four! Black Widow! 
with the win in this crazy ass dog collar match. Corner to my left, the challenger. From the city so nice, they named it twice. New York, New York. She is a former TNA knockout. A participant in the first ever May Young Classic. And a competitor on Univision's Exactoron. Close enough. The Dominican Dynamite. Marty Bell! Okay. In the corner to my right, the champion from Toledo, Ohio. She is the new gold standard, AKA Fixie Langston. Her milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Your reigning, defending, BCW Women's Champion, Faye Jackson! It seems almost the crowd is split right down the middle for this one, AJ. I mean, no matter what Faye has done here, she has been the standard bearer here. I mean, look at the quality of competition. Do you hear the chants? I don't think they're as split as you think. The crowd chanting new champ. I don't think Faye's gonna let that happen anytime soon, but they're both, they both used to compete in Ring of Honor. The only thing is Marty over there was an impact knockout and competed in Mae Young Classic and that's going to be to her advantage. 100%. I mean, yeah, former member, member of the uh, the Dollhouse, Mae Young, classic competitor. I mean, that's a hell of a resume. I gotta say one, what? I got one thing I gotta say. The the championships here at BCW are beautiful. I was eyeing that because if you if you notice, it's purple and blue. Matches her hair. Yes. Both women lock up in the middle of the ring. Again, Marty Bell seems to have the hometown crowd on her side. Her first time competing back in New York in I think almost five years. It's a pretty nice welcome home. Yeah, you got a BCW uh, Women's Championship opportunity. That's fantastic. This crowd is right behind her. Well, I mean, her resume, I mean, got her this match. As, as Riley said earlier, former TNA knockout a competitor in the first May Young Classic. She has been a competitor in Shine, in Shimmer, in WSU. I mean, Marty Bell has a very lengthy resume. Most people may only recognize her from the May Young Classic, but they forget that Marty Bell had been in the game for a very, very long time, trained right here in Brooklyn, New York. But does all that really equate a championship opportunity? I mean, people have competed here, these women, and they kind of might be feel lost in the shuffle. What about a Kristen Statlander? What about Davian? How about a, a Tasha who rips someone's knee out and uh, thinks she wins that way? Well, she did, she's the number one contender, so. I know. And I'm sure Tasha think. would have been here. This probably would have been her matchup, but she's not here. And with the Queen of the North Tournament, a lot of these other women have to now earn their way back up the mountain for a shot at the BCW Women's Championship. And again, it brings prestige to this championship the way that Faye is defending against some of these, these competitors. Again, her first competitor, Sumi Sakai. Not exactly a slouch by any means. No, I've, I've faced Sumi in Women of Honor, and she took it to me. She became the very first champion of Women of Honor, and to have that as her first title defense and Faye win over her, that in itself is pretty darn amazing. That was a fantastic match from both women, I do gotta say. That was a great match. And Faye proved why she She's the queen of the north. Faye and Marty right now feeling each other out in this ring. Respect bit, being shown. A little bit of respect there, nice. See, that's how you do it, AJ. We'll see how long that lasts. Faye has a mean streak in her. 
I think Marty does after that shot to face face. Oh, yeah. Well, she's Dominican, so, I mean, that's just instilled in her. And she's just a little crazy. Yeah. Dynamite. Oh, she's a Dominican boom. dynamite. Went for a top rope maneuver. Looked like Faye tried to reverse Faye's it. They both tumbled down to the floor. It was all too soon for that. Faye still has a lot of power left in her. Faye rolling out to get a breather from all those shots that Marty just gave her to the face. That does not feel good on your jaw, I'm telling she, you. I think she was a little surprised that Marty went for something so high risk uh, so quickly. But Faye's gonna get her wits about her. The Queen's a little stunned. I don't think Faye expected that. Can oh! oh! Marty took to the air and took Faye out. Faye definitely was not prepared for that, and she could not block that. And our first fecal chant back at the church. Marty with a tope through the bottom and middle rope as referee Giuseppe was making a count, and Faye hit the floor hard on that. Pretty sure her brain got rattled from her head hitting the floor that hard. I've never seen Faye in this much, this much danger so early. Wow, almost a page out of Faye's book. I was going to say, doesn't she do a triple spun milkshake with the same kind of hip move? Almost covered here by Marty Chu Chip. No, only a two count there. Marty's really playing mind games. Look at that. Even oh. Faye's, like, Faye's like, are you serious right now? I thought she was rattled, but Faye doesn't seem rattled in the least. Oh, that just brought, I think that's gonna bring out the mean streak. That's that mean streak you were talking about earlier, AJ. Faye coming in like a freight train in the corner. Oh. There oh, it is. Triple spun milkshake, I told you. There it is. She's not gonna be one up in her house. Number one, two, kick out by Marty Bell. Like you said, AJ, that's legit Faye saying, not in my house, miss. Oh, not, not at all. Not in my house. I think they used another word but miss at the end of that sentence. All right, I, I'm, I'm polite. I'm sorry. Oh, roll up here by Marty. Cover one, two. Wow. This is, uh, there, there we go. See, Faye is not going to stand for this. Oh. Faye's been here from almost day one herself. Faye came in a little later in the game, but yes, Faye's been here for a very long time, made her way up the women's division, and became the first ever Queen of the North and BCW Women's Champion. Yeah, it's a who's who of who she's faced and beaten. I mean, she's faced people like Lufisto here. She's beaten, somebody, I mean, a list like Nikki Adams. She's be beaten Coming Chris Coming again! Oh, Marty sidesteps it, sends Faye right into the buckle. I mean, look at who she beat just to win in the tournament. Chris Satliner, AJ Perara, Tasha Steeles, who she pinned already. That was shoddy officiating, but. Or Tasha trying to hit her with the belt and missing. She's and trying to hand it back pinned. to the referee. Hmm. Marty putting the boots to Faye in the corner. She gonna go for it again? Oh! Oh, Faye just comes right out of the corner. Charging with a clothesline there. And there's the pit bull in Faye. Cover there, it almost... Uh, there's that Ohio demeanor of hers. Another cover by Faye, but Faye almost kind of like, not really putting a lot into that cover, just kind of putting the arms down. Oh, this is one of her, oh, modif no, this, this is one of her moves. This time I could say it, this is called the sit down, bitch. The single leg Boston Crab. Marty's reaching. This has won her a lot of, she has used this to win a lot of matches. All over, Queens of Combat in. Got Marty's. to the ropes there. Oh, she's got a break. Faye bringing her right the, back to the middle of the ring. The, I get a championship match, but that, yeah. Referee's letting it slide, referee Elvis. I miss referee and former tonight. Junior, se junior senior official. Junior you senior official. Oh, you're right Zachary over there, pal. Snow. It's been a very long day. It hasn't been. I was a bit 
six in the morning, AJ Pan. Why? You were probably just getting home from another night it's of cold. drinking. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, but work. Right. What? He doesn't do anything. Oh, another big kick by Marty Bell. I was preparing for tonight's match. I had, I had to get my commentary notes ready. I had to get my cue cards ready. You had to find somewhere that would I sell you that damn how to get a outfit haircut. you wear on. All right, I love you, Pete. I LARP you, Pete. But it's not about you in this moment. It's about Marty, who just took it to Cover! the Cover! Oh my god, wow. That was only a and two? Wow. Wow, that was... Almost. Two counts. That looked almost like, that was, wow, that could have been a three, but... Shocking. Marty Bell almost became the new BCW Women's Champion. Oh, she was setting her up for, looked like, one of her patented moves? Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. Fireman's carry. Samoan drop. Big Samoan drop there. Can Marty she get over Bell to her? Holding her head and her neck, and Marty has, has had some neck issues in the past. That's got to be the beginning of the end for Marty. Cover by Faye. One, two, kick out by Marty. Barely got the shoulder up. Wow. Everybody thought that was a three. Faye looks shocked. Faye's wondering what she has to do to keep Marty Bell down. Ah, oh, Marty with that front side rushing leg sweep, planting Faye right in her face. Cover here, one, two. No! Oh. Faye is not going to give up this championship without a fight. BCW did almost get a new champ, but she, Faye got the shoulder up just in time. An incredible matchup here and shows Riley. Shows the depth of our women's division here. These are all talented, hardworking, competitive women. Oh, uh, looks what? like she's going for the pedigree. The, 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 the front face muscle. Face got her up. Oh! Oh, dear oh. My God. Drop it like it's hot. That's Drop it like it's dead. A variated, still the champion. A variated mission over so driver the there. The match. And so once you go Mac, you never go back? No, 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 that's a different saying. Is it really? <laughs> we got Ninja Mac in the house. And down to Leon with purple and pink hair are, on the left I, side. I feel like you're feeling his hair. You're feeling his hair, aren't you? You know what? I, those are my favorite colors right there. Yeah. But you know, I'm not going to be biased. Okay. All right, I'll tell you what. what. I'll bet on Mac, and you can go with Dante Leon. What are we betting? Tacos. What did we bet last time? We had a bet last time. Yeah, and I never got that uh, was it a coconut coke? water was it a coke? And, the, and the Coke. That's right. So you owe me big time. All right. And now, after this match, you're gonna owe me tacos. Oh, super kick to the face. Oh no, here we go, Dante Leon. Oh. Taking, making quick work of Ninja Mac. Oh man. Big chop to the chest while he's sitting down. I mean, come on, don't hit a guy when he's down. Hey, you snooze, you lose, all right? A little less time snoozing on the mat, a little bit more action. Oh, oh, oh. star press from the second. Ah, I was oh. going to say, tacos, I can taste him now. Okay. <laughs> don't let the hair fool you, all right? Oh, he, cast, he caught the oh. foot. Flips out. Oh! oh. Big <laughs> forearm to the face. That looked like a freaking punch, man. I don't it, like, know. Like nearly KO'd him. Maybe it's just the, the angle I'm at, but dang. Or maybe you need glasses, you know. I'm old. We're not as young as we used to be. <laughs> oh! Big 540 dive over the top rope on a Ninja Mac. If Ninja Mac gets up and kicks out. If he can get up, he's outside of the ring. Let's see if we can get up by It'd 10. be smart if Dante or, just left him outside. 
Yeah, but I don't think you you want to win like that, all right? You want to... A win's a win. No, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, 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 oh. No. Is, is he going to stay on the mat or is he just going to stay on the rope the whole time? Oh, Ninja Mac moving. This is the advantage that Ninja Mac needs. Bam! Oh, oh, oh! That's got to hurt, oh. but it didn't do anything. He's like superhuman. Correction, he's a ninja. He's a ninja. Ninja warrior. What? I hope, I hope he doesn't think about doing the crazy, crazy flips that he's been doing. Diego, this is Ninja. Oh, Matt. 360. They need to get in the ring, though. If they want to win, you got to find their way back into Isaac, the ring. Isaac, Isaac, you got to do your Isaac, job, buddy. do your job. Bring him in the ring. Okay, Isaac's counting. All right, here we go. We got up. Uh, goes in and goes out. Come on, dudes. Ah, uh, he's going to carry him in. Did you just do my favorite chant? Oh! <laughs> Chop's giving me goosebumps. He double hand chopped him. I'm just glad I'm not at that receiving end. Dante, you know what? It, it was inevitable. He's going to catch up to him. him up, Dante Leon back on top. Gotta bring him back in the ring. If I'm gonna get those tacos, you need to bring him back in the ring. Oh, just a chop fest. Oh! Uh. Oh. I'm feeling every chop. Isaac, seven counts. They're about to get disqualified. Okay. Oh, not disqualified. I'm sorry. In. Count out. You're gonna yeah. get counted it's, out. It's, it's, it's a disqualification. Yeah, it's a count out. Like, if it gets to ten, yeah, duh. It's a double DQ. Oh, Ninja Mac moving out of the way, rolling out by Dante Leon. Ooh, oh, baseball slide. Fighting. Fighting for position. Ninja Mac. Gotta waist hold lock. on the waist. Dante Leon reversing it. Holds it. Backflip after backflips. Oh, German. One. Oh, not enough. Two count. Did you hear that two count by Isaac? Best ref in the business. Oh man, you know what? We need we need something at the bottom. Oh, that's it. Don't blink, you'll miss it. Oh, he he kicked out. We need something at the bottom of the screen for this match. Maybe some other matches. With too. like an energy bar. Well, no, no, or, no. Or, you know, like video games yes, where it goes that bam, too. bam, whoop, whoop, That would be whoop, awesome. Whoop, 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 whoop. No, but a, a, a chop counter. Oh, yeah. You're right. Really? So, Tully, right or left of the screen, at the chops, at the numbers. Ninja. I mean, I'm not, I'm not doing the Oh! I do want more. Do we, do we specify what kind of tacos we're getting if Ninja Mac wins? Surprise, all right, once I win, I mean, once Dante and Leon wins, I get to pick. Oh, no. Whoa! Oh, Spanish fly oh. from the top! You see Isaac jumping like, he nearly touched the ceiling. In fact, I can swear to you, sitting at home, Make the cover. Isaac touched the ceiling. Kick out, Ninja! Oh! Pin ah. after pin! Oh, 
line. Woo! Net bob. They're both on their feet. Ah! Oh, evenly matched. Full thrust kick. Energy bar going. Oh, they didn't have enough. Who's going to get up first? It's Raging Red. <laughs> they Do already use a Isaac. special meter. They're all at a special meter. They gotta use. They gotta do the L L two and R one to do their special moves. Which which game are we talking about? It's copyright. It's called the loco wrestling. All right. How are these guys still standing? Not, not only that, but how are these guys kipping up? Oh, oh no. Hey, this is where we need a chop counter. It We're going to need a chop counter on. again. One! Oh. I'll do the count. Please do. Oh, that counts as two. That counts as so two. So that's like three. That's a double chop. Four! Oh, my God. Uh, I'm not going to count that one. My apologies to Ninja Mac. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, that was eleven. Whoa! Oh, what was that? What can we expect here? I'm Ninja just blown Mac. away, Diego. Kicks him in the stomach. Here we go, knee to the face. Oh, another chop. That counts. That's I, I, 12, I lost count. I lost count, bro. That's we're at 13 now. <laughs> I lost count. <laughs> Lucky 13. Ninja Mac. This match has taken so much out of both of these guys. I don't know if you would consider this a match. It's more like a fight. I see a lot of strikes. There I see a lot of fights. a lot of kicks, a lot of knees. Dante Leon going up to the top, and then Medidas. Oh, oh! What the hell was that? I. All I saw was Adidas, and he just spun. I have no idea what to call that. <laughs> all I know it, it was deadly. Dante needing the crowd to get get behind him. See, the crowd is behind both of these men. Uh oh, we almost lost it. Oh! oh no way! Shooting star! Cutter! By Dante Leon! That's it! response in our afternoon brunch hour here for AQA <laughs> making her return very impressive Brittany. yes indeed I I did not know that was gonna happen that is that was very intense uh, and you would assume that this wasn't you know the mid-afternoon it was later on in the evening I mean are they handing out mimosas here I mean what is I don't what, what I didn't are, get what one. are we missing out on I don't know I mean it's just the fact that AQA is back She's back and she's ready and she's here with a vengeance. I mean, she's going against her student. Rolling here early on from the former Divers Division champion. Kick out 
from Promise Braxton. And I have to say, in the world of combat sports, be it boxing, be it MMA, or in this case, the world of professional wrestling, there are few things more exciting than seeing student versus teacher, pupil versus mentor, the old lion versus the young lion, in this case, two young lions, but one who has trained the other, Brittany, and I think we're gonna see some similarities in styles, but I'm quite certain AQA hasn't taught and promised everything she knows. And that's exactly right. As the teacher, you don't teach them everything that you know, and right now, I'm sure Promise Braxton was, was feeling it, but that chop that she got delivered from AQA, I'm sure she's not excited to be in the ring with her teacher now. Very well said. Promise trying to deliver a receipt. That wrist control right now, attached like Velcro, and uh, she may detach that left arm of AQAs from the socket here if this continues. AQA's career, just shy of two years in the sport of professional wrestling, but in that time, as she had some very special moments, especially here at Ladies' Night Out. Also in the co-branded event, which drew a standing room only crowd here at the World Gym Arena back in July when Impact Wrestling and Reality of Wrestling got together. AQA faced Tessa Blanchard. Mm -hmm. She has stepped up to the plate and has faced all comers. We'll see if that time off from injury plays any factor in this one. So far, it doesn't look it. And AQA was even saying that this is actually her first singles match back from injury. So to go against her student to be into this ring is momentous. And she's started to call herself a, a Super Saiyan, as it were, and saying that she has hit that level of 9,000. Promise breaking it up there with a couple of palm strikes downstairs, AQA returns and uh, what a seesaw battle this has been early on. I mean, my goodness, once again, every single athlete we have seen so far has ignored the time of day. They're going at it as if it's the main event. It's, it's insane, but that just shows you how amazing these athletes are. They, they don't care if they're the first match, the middle match, the last match. Every match is a main event to them and they're putting it all on the line. Set flip over the top from Promise Braxton. AQA springs up like a slinky on Christmas morning. Oh! And then a superwoman punch, if you will, of the face. Will it be enough? Kick out at one. Muscle memory gets Promise, gets her shoulders off the mat. I don't know if I wanted to do that if I was Promise. I think I might have wanted to lay on the mat after that, that punch. One has to imagine AQA has a lot to prove here this afternoon. After all that time off from injury, she wants to leave no doubt in anyone's minds, whether it be the ladies' night out division, reality of wrestling's diamonds division. She wants an opportunity at gold again. I have to say that Promise is showing promise. She lives up to her name. She's taking her teacher to task, almost folding her in half there at the turnbuckle. Drop kick to the shoulder blades. One, two. AQA might be in trouble here. I have to say, you know, you said young lion, old lion, even though these both competitors are young in age, Promise might have a one up on her, especially when she's coming back from injury. Knife edge chop that says the ribs will be ready in five minutes. <laughs> Square. Is she gonna go for it for a third time? What? She's tenderizing the meat now, I think. Absolutely. Promise, trying to finish off AQA, hooks the leg. Two and a half, 
AQA is definitely being drugged into deep water here from a young athlete who she trained right here at the World Gym Arena. And those are, those are closed fists directly to the throat, the most vulnerable part of the neck and head, right to the throat, to the windpipe. Oh, I mean, that, that's gotta make you hard to breathe, hard to talk. It's just you're constantly having that pain there. That's gonna definitely slow AQA down. The blood rushes to the head. The equilibrium is undone. And now AQA may be undone by her student. Kick out again. AQA taking one hell of a beating in this matchup. I just, I don't even know if AQA knows where she is right now. I mean, she's got to get into the corner, take a rest, relax. But Promise is not going to let her have a breather at all. Absolutely not. There are no timeouts. In there and promise Braxton with a blitzkrieg strategy, an exploder suplex into a submission maneuver. Great finds the legs around the waist, has the arms, great find around the head, and AQA who has taken maximum damage to her spinal cord in this matchup. Somehow a Herculean effort of intestinal fortitude to get back to a vertical base. And then a neck breaker. Brittany, it seems like every time AQA tries to mount some sort of comeback or offense, she's cut off here. Promise again, kick out at two. And that's the thing is AQA, yes, she is the teacher of Promise, but Promise has been studying her, has been watching her for all of these years. She knows her moves, and even though AQA might have not taught her everything, she knows a good bit of how to hurt AQA from just being in the ring with her for training. I don't know how AQA is standing or even doing that. Promise seems a bit surprised that AQA still has another gear. But here it is. Oh! That made me dizzy. Folds her up like an accordion. But Promise Braxton springs out of that pin attempt. This exhibition of supreme ultra marathon athleticism continues. I mean, you will not find a harder hitting affair in women's professional wrestling than you are right now during the matinee here at Ladies Night Out 9. These two athletes setting the table for an entire day of combat sports. And here comes AQA. Is Braxton there just shutting AQA down again? How much more can AQA take of just this beatdown that she keeps getting? She keeps getting back up, but should she? That is an excellent question. Perhaps she should live to fight another day. And in that time off for AQA promise, Braxton has stepped her game up to a whole new level. She is wrestling tonight on all Madden setting. That is two and 90% kick out. You are looking live at the matinee edition of what will be a double header all women's invitational live on Title Match Wrestling's YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and help us get to that one million mark. We're close and you can be the sub that helps us achieve this remarkable milestone. So much more action still to come. And I'll be honest, I might need a drink after this. I mean, yeah, this is so hard hitting. And if you haven't seen anything from title match before, this is this is it. This is the matinee show. This is setting up for everything that's going on for the rest of this evening. I mean, if this is the matinee, what are we gonna see tonight? I don't know, but right now, AQA channeling her inner Neo from the Matrix there. Defying gravity and following it up with a shot to the back. What a devastating telegraph shot from that right leg. Standing shooting stop press from the 
woman who made it famous. AQA is back. Amazing. Sounds and here we go. Our second contest of the night between Brittany Savage and Tina San Antonio. You know, I won a cup too. Attack cup. You won the king and queen. That's yeah. what you won. <laughs> Damn straight, I won the king. Beautiful and queen. tiara. But this match of women looking to, oh, looking to work their I way. I like up. that. She has just kind of a new attitude, lady. I like it. I like it a lot. You know, Tina San Antonio, definitely a woman trying to work her way up the ladder after being a tag team specialist over the past couple of years. Meanwhile, Brittany Savage, 2012 J Cup champion, has made it very clear she wants back in the WSU World Championship chase. That's the only belt she's never won. Savage, oh. fast and furious to start off here. They get slapped in the mush. Savage with a nice neck breaker. Nicely done from Brittany Savage to cover. First pinfall attempt, Johnny Q counts two. You know, Jennifer Cruz, I know for a fact you've been in the ring with both women. I got to ask you. I have. I got to ask you, who do you think has the advantage in this contest? Who do I think has the advantage in this contest? You know, I like both girls, but I feel like Brittany's been here long enough. She's been there, done that. I feel like Tina San Antonio feels like she has something to prove. And I think she's going to prove it tonight. Well, San Antonio does have a lot to prove, you know. She defeated Marty Bell in probably one of the most vicious matches I've ever seen in WSU. You know what? Rules That's match. about the only thing we could agree on. It was vicious and there was bloodshed. Tina San Antonio was actually lacerated from that contest. Showed to me she has a lot of heart. It was a nice hammer there. Oh, absolutely. See, that shows she wants it. She, I feel like she wants a little more than Brittany. San both, I think both women have a lot to prove, especially with WSU under new management. And San Antonio beeling Savage out of the corner. You know, Tina San Antonio is also patented and started to really work on that TSA, you know, the unique maneuver that's put away a few opponents. Quite a few. But Brittany Savage always stays true. Maybe herself. Brittany might be the next one. Brittany Savage has that diamond cutter. Put away a lot of people. And right now it's been all of Tina San Antonio since the beginnings of this contest. Taking her out of the corner, feeling her out in fact with that Boston. Only two, says referee Johnny Q. San Antonio going right to work, still delivering those vicious right on the kicks. Back. And the hair. Listen, I may not be the girliest girl, but I know that pulling another girl's hair, that hurts. That's you know, never a great thing. There's a guy that has at least a little hair on his head. There's got to be vicious. Like a, it's like a stunt puller. She's like, it's like pulling a root from the ground. We all know. She is still five. She's following the rules as she should. So her Johnny Q got in there. She's going. But Savage, I think both women have a lot to prove tonight. If the Savage really going to get another shot? Look at this victory roll counter for San Antonio. Savage roll it back up. San Antonio got it back, hooked her by her. I'm getting dizzy. Yeah, so am I. I'm getting really dizzy. But a unique victory roll counter and counter counters. And now we're back at stage oh. one. Savage has her by the hair. Referee should get in there. Oh, there's an eye rig. You know, in that situation, I think it might be an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth when it comes to I, I would definitely say an eye for an eye. And San Antonio really lined her up. San Antonio's playing mind games. You know, that clothesline takedown. get on them right after that. And TSA really proving her stuff right now. The stomps to the back. Oh. You know, Savage has a speed advantage, but I got to give the power to San Antonio. Listen, as we saw in the first match, the calamity, power means everything. All right. Oh, could this be? As you can see, oh, every come on. Reverse Boston crab. That's that's painful. That is. I can tell, I tell you, Brittany, Brittany does not feel so great right about oh, now. Oh wait a minute. Uh oh, the pendulum swings. The pendulum swinging right now. San Antonio 
literally carrying her around the ring. It's like a spider monkey, some kind of pet animal. Something like that. Something like that, Your Majesty. I don't know if you know anything about spider monkeys, but very vicious animals. Don't have too many of those where I'm from. But if it did, it probably looks something like that. Look at this, San Antonio now stretching out the back of the placing that boot. She's been working the back for about a good solid, you know, two minutes, so. Well, she's doing a great job on it, especially with the, with the Brittany Savage being lighter, and Savage just fit the curve there from that curb stomp. San Antonio has Savage in firm control, another boot to the back. And now San Antonio oh. looking for a reverse, turned into an O'Connor. Only two, says Johnny Q off the O'Connor roll from San Antonio. Another stomp to the back. She's not going to feel so hot in the morning. But Savage, this is what we've seen over Britney Savage over the past year this is or so. the perfect time to finish her. She's down. Absolutely. The no. perfect time. Oh. Oh, San Antonio went for a leg drop, nobody home. Britney Savage shows this pestiness, this feistiness, this art and determination. She never says die. That's why she's a two-time jigsaw. This is where the speed and quickness of Britney really has to come into effect. Nice shot with the forearm. Make that a pair of forearm shivers. Irish whip from Savage. Close line takedown. Finally got her down. Finally. Exactly. Great takedown from Savage on San Antonio. I can't believe this is actually happening. Double knees to the midsection, right in the breadbasket. Running butt bump now. Savage needs to put her away now. Oh! Upside the head with the roundhouse. That's the cover. Savage only you gets see two. That? She wants it more. You kick to the head and you kick out at two you and a half. You just said Tina San Antonio wanted it more a couple seconds ago. Nah, don't worry about what I just said. I'm always right. Diamond cutter, diamond cutter. Schoolgirl. She's got the ropes. Come on. Look at that. Beautiful. Depending on We're talking about champions. Uh, Lacey Ryan, FSW Women's Champion of yep. Las Vegas. Again, this card is full of champions, former champions. So all of these ladies know what it takes to get gold. Oh, Lacey Ryan's trying to get the crowd they're, into it as well both, as Bert. They're both not only striving to struggle for power, but striving to uh, get, get the, the fans. crowd. Yes, they're on the same page. So see, let's see who wins. And a struggle right there. They're, they're a little evenly matched. I'll give more jackness to, to Lacey for sure. But size-wise and everything, they, they're pretty even here. They are indeed. And I've been seeing Vert work out in the gym constantly, preparing for this match specifically. Okay. So Have you? All right, yeah. all right. I mean, you got to check out Lacey Ryan on Twitter. She does some crazy workouts herself, you know. Oh, yeah. I do I, say I have the jack, uh, the deadliest shoulders in the game. You know, I have to say Lacey Ryan is a strong, strong up again. second. Lacey already taking that arm. Wrenching. Working a body part. There we go. We talked about it earlier. Oh. Here's Vert with the reversal. Vert. Showing she can stand with the best of them here. Uh oh, Lacey oh. Ryan. Showing some of that agility. Yes, indeed. And that she can wrestle. Agility and that she can wrench you up. She can indeed. Not mad at that. Showing that not only am I strong, but I can do the flippy stuff too. I can do the flippy stuff. I'm strong <laughs> and I can do the wrestles. I can do the wrestles, flippy and strong. What you but know about look that? Look at that flexibility. I mean, Bert. Oh, oh, oh and Bert with a reversal. Bert going in. Taking Lacey Ryan all the way down to the temple, folks. To the wow. temple. Wow. What control and strength in the legs of both of those opponents? Both to these handle. ladies, back and forth. Back and forth. We're pretty even here so far. Oh, oh. Bert takes Lacey down. And Lacey oh. takes Bert down. But she holds onto that arm. Right from that Smart arm right there. Drag right into the arm bar. Lacey's actually been working for eight years, trained by Tom Howard, so oh. expect, expect a little veteran stuff out of her. Yes, she does. But as we said before, Vert Vixen has been trained by Jazz. That and is true. A veteran Hall of Famer. Oh! oh! And the power, that is the what jackness of Lacey Rain. I love it. Uh-oh. Oh, but but Vert, Vert slips out of it. And another reversal. These ladies are going back and forth. Oh, Vert using the ropes to knock Lacey off, but Lacey Showing with a kip-up. 
Again, she's like, I can do it all. Oh! Beautiful kick to the midsection. Don't throw up your lunch, Vert. Don't do it. That will definitely do it, if anything. We need the ring clean. Don't do it, Vert. Oh, going over the rock. Taking Lacey outside. Grace is sweeping those legs. Smart move, smart move. Oh! oh! Beautiful springboard elbow drop. A little but bit Bert too kicks close. Out. A little bit too close, close to the ropes. Close the ropes. Bring awareness. Bring awareness. Yes, indeed. Good move, but you got to get her in the middle of the ring. Can't win by the ropes. Vert still trying to catch her breath after that kick. Oh, yeah, that yeah. That took her out. Impactful. Oh. Ah, oh, come on, Lacey Ryan. We can't count that in the chop night. We, we didn't feel it. We didn't feel it. But that kick, though, made up. Oh, okay. We'll count that. We'll count that. We'll count count that. that we're like at six or seven. <laughs> All right, I think we're doing this. All right, I'm going to go with six. I'm going to say six. Do we need, like, those judges' cards to, I like, think rate, so. rate the Oh, because so we're at seven now. Oh. Yes, there we go. Keep it going. We're going to hashtag Chop Night again if they keep this up late. I think we're going to eight. 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 Let's do it. I love it. Oh, oh. kick to the stomach. There you go. Cut it's them off. Cut them back off. It's a chop night. It's all of those. Tried to go for a suplex oh. at first. Very smart. Vert that took out very, the legs. That was very cunning right there. Vert Vixen knowing to take out those knees. If Vert can keep Lacey off her feet, she should. She is very versatile. Can do a lot. Oh! Trying to take out the legs. Lacey definitely fighting, but oh man, you take somebody's knees out and It's done. It's done. a wrap. You ain't yep. wrestling nothing. No, indeed. And, I mean, they call her the unstoppable oh. Lacey Ryan. And, and, and look at this. Just like that, she's out of it. Yep. Unstoppable. Look at that. Running spinning. circles around her. Come on, Bert. Or, or spinning, at least. Spinning circles spinning around circles her. Spinning circles around her. Spinning, running. You know. Come on, Brittany. <laughs> Don't do me like that. Don't do me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not right. doing you any. You know, I'm just helping. All right, all right. With the verbiage. Anywho. Anywho. <laughs> Bert back on the legs, trying to take the legs out. Again, I think that's a smart move on her part. She is indeed. Lacey Ryan has so oh. much in her arsenal. Keep her off her feet. Ooh. And Bert might have this one. Well, and here's the thing is Vert is still pretty new to the game herself. That, you that's have true, that's true. in these tournaments, you have veterans going against very newcomers, and it is still unpredictable. Anybody's game, anybody's yes. game. Anybody in the ring, you never know. Mm -hmm. Like I said, if Bert can stay on her, stay on the legs, take her out. I think she can have this one. But she's got to stay on her. She can. Don't indeed. get her. Don't, don't let her rest. You know, Pull Phoebe, her out of the corner. Well, Break Phoebe's her freaking leg off. Well, ah, Phoebe, back up. Come on. Uh, Come on, Phoebe. I, Phoebe, all you got to do is count to three or, or say if they tap. Uh, let them let them fight. Let them tear each other up. That's what I'm here for. Uh, Lacey Ryan. Oh! oh! What are we at? Eight or nine, folks? Nine. Keep counting. Oh, we're at nine. All right. We're at nine. I need some of you there on the Twitterverse to... Uh, Hashtag chop night. We're at nine right now. Oh! oh! I think we should have did a kick night because... Uh, Two, we got a lot a of kicks. Two count. Those kicks from Lacey Ryan. You know, it's one of those things of I see Lacey's arms, I see her shoulders, I see uh -huh. the way her body is, and I'm like, That's you're right. jacked. But jacked I AF. Yes. But I never oh. thought about the fact and Lacey Ryan's foot oh, went out. As that you see, her legs. Bert tried to shoot her oh. off, but her leg went out. Smart on Bert Vixen. You got to stay on that leg. You got to injure body part. Keep going at it. Oh. Exactly. There you go. There you go. And I wonder and I worry that maybe Lacey Ryan doing these kicks after being injured has also exacerbated. You gotta think. You gotta think. Injury. Not smart on Lacey Ryan's part, but that adrenaline that's going, you're like, yeah, I can do this. Then bam, your body's like, nah, you can't. Yep. Nah. nah. Oh! D -D. Nice, nice, nice. Lacey Ryan, quick DDT. But you can see she's nursing that leg right there. It's not 100%. Both ladies down. The crowd. Trying to will Lacey Ryan to get back up, at least on one leg. I'm actually surprised they're on Lacey Ryan's side. I thought this would have been more of a vert crowd, but both ladies are back up and exchanging strikes. Back and forth. But as you can see, Lacey now the crowd is, is mixed. Nursing oh. that knee a little bit. Oh. oh! Lacey Ryan takes her out, but that knee is still that bothering. Knee. You can see that. She's still. Not all there. Oh. She's still using it. I don't know if that's smart on her part. I mean. That leg could give out any second. I feel like Lacey see. at this point is really trying to give it her all because she knows she only has a She's few trying. moments left on okay, that knee. Yeah, you just did a beautiful kick. And now look at you nursing your knee. Think, Lacey Ryan, think. You're jacked, but come on, use your brain, kid. Come on. Oh, a two count still. Burt Vixen it could have been a three out. if her knee wasn't hurt and she get a pin right away. But again, Lacey Ryan not fully thinking. She might not be fully thinking, but I mean, she ain't. She ain't. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, Brittany Nicole. She ain't. Is it but you, all right. You, no, you I'm have telling the inside, inside -ish I'm information. I'm telling you. I got that? you. I got you. I'm oh, telling okay. you. Okay. Listen to me. I wouldn't steal you wrong. <laughs> Dark side is the best side. Here we go.
Oh. Oh! Beautiful flying knee by Burt Vixen. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh. I am that, surprised Lacey Ryan was able to way, kick out of that. By the way, is a critical hit is what Burt Vixen likes to call that knee. Very nice. That was critical indeed. I'm, not, I'm surprised Lacey Ryan's head is still attached to her body at this point. As we've said before, oh, uh -oh. I'm looking for uh -oh. game uh -oh. over. But no, Lacey Ryan. Reverse. Oh! oh my God! Yes. Oh my God! What? Oh! Oh! Here we go! Oh my God! Oh. Somebody get an ambulance! Get a hearse! Lacey Call Ryan. Call a funeral home for Bert Vincent. Lacey Ryan advances in the tournament. Rightfully so. Oh, look, we got a we got a local ref. That's that's not Isaac Bouillon. I know. I was just gonna say what happened to Isaac. Wow, that doesn't look like. I Isaac. was getting ready to say Isaac is gonna have a hell of a time with this match. I was that, waiting for you to say my boy Isaac. That's not Isaac. Yeah, that's what. That's weird. <laughs> it's your boy mystery ref, like mystery date. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that ref is kicking some nice little Nikes in there though. A ver, let me see. Here we go, we're underway. Starting it up, mini fusion. Expect Chris some, Carter. Expect some crazy lucha. <laughs> oh, Chris Carter taking a push on that chest. Oh. oh. <laughs> You want to do a backflip? Chris is going to be like, nah. Oh. He's going up. No, he's not. Nah, hell no, man. He might be mini, but he's built. Oh, big arm drag out by Chris Carter. All right. Wow. All right. I see you. Mini Fusion ain't having nothing to do with it. Big Rana off the second. Wow. You hear the crowd here at local wrestling? They're local, man. Wow. Uh, when I said we were high flying, we're high flying this match. And we just started. I don't even think we're a minute in. <laughs> Reversal back into the corner. Mini fusion. Oh, jump sends on the like Oh, big super to the face. Damn. Oh! That code breaker from the second. Oh, big kick here. Arrow boy with the oh reversal. Arrow boy to the corner. Oh, Ooh. front flip off. Mini fusion grabs a headlock. Slow it down, yeah. Yep, oh. he's trying to slow him down. Big send off again. Oh, it takes the corner. Oh, but to the outside. Big kick. Took a couple of seconds uh -oh. there showboating, and uh -oh. that kind of cost him here. Mini Fusion. He's waiting for Fusion to get up. Arrow Boy gonna fly. Oh, no, he's not. He's gonna cartwheel out. Oh! That front that suplex, low rider baby. In the ring. Oh, oh, Houston Love and Low Rider in the ring. Shoulder tag, Bring here we go. Four or five. I'm sorry, it's cuatro veinte. Oh, sunset, up to his feet. One pin. These guys are Dumps getting the, the cardio in. Stand there. Arm Ooh. drag, baby. Low Damn. rider to the outside. I think that was a little bit more than low rider expected. We're diving. Oh! Big Lady, dive from Arrow Boy. Move out of the way or you're gonna get hit. Oh, Ares and Roscoe. See, Roscoe's a, a oh. big guy, but he's very this is a takeover. Very light on his feet. Ares drop kick on Roscoe. Doesn't doesn't drop him though. 
shoot off. Oh, oh, what a close line. He turned to miss side. I did a backflip. <laughs> oh, don't do dive? it, big man. Don't oh, do it, big man. Mini fusion. Oh. Hurricane Rana off the top rope on the Roscoe. Rana. With the sunset. Shoots him off, holds on to the rope. Boom, big kick. Roscoe's got to slow it down. If he slows it down, it gets in his favor. Falcon Arrow! Oh, Mini Fusion with the kick out. Oh, arm drag out. There goes Roscoe. Is Fusion Ooh, gonna fly? Mini Fusion! He's like Spider Man, I'm telling you. Look at this guy, he's flying! Oh! Out of the ring, into the chairs! Oh, they caught, they caught him! They caught him! Oh, double back elbow. The green team. <laughs> oh, oh, that's gotta hurt. With the green team salute. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you know, Chris Carter might be uh, speaking a little higher. Woo! Kick to the solar, shoots him. Oh, oh Whoa. bro. Whoa. He made low rider Whoa. DDT on his. Okay, good breakup. Damn, these oh. guys are equally right. matched. I mean, whoa. low rider's gonna fly. Low rider. Damn. Oh. Fire here at Loco. Roscoe, Mini Fusion back in the ring. Oh, Roscoe caught him. Power, power bomb. Power bomb. Sit up, power. That's it. Ooh, oh, we got Otis Otis. with the save. He kicked, he Diego, super kicked him in the back of the head. <laughs> Asadora, Louis, to an elbow. That ref's got to get out of the way. He's going to get knocked out. Oh, he's, he's tying him up in the ropes. <laughs> oh, he's got him. He's got him in a submission on the rope. Oh, count ref, ref is going to have to break it up. Do your job. Oh, Chris went to make, save the day. Ooh. Oh. They're exchanging shoulder tackles. Oh! oh. <laughs> Chris Carter didn't see that coming. You gotta be prepared for anything oh. and everything. Tilt he said, with, world he said he's made out of rubber, but. With the, how did he kick out of that? I don't know. He was doing like push ups as he was counting, so maybe when he was going up. The local crowd is going local right now. This match is insane. I feel like the walls are literally going to shatter and oh, look. fall onto me. The whole crowd going quiet. They know something's about to pop off. <laughs> oh, a little fight out of Chris. Damn, oh, he's not going. He doesn't want to go. People are excited, man. What a matchup. Oh, what a matchup. We've got Chris Carter on the top rope. Oh. He was going for like a frog splash and then I can't keep up with these guys. Oh! I don't even know what cover. to call that. He's taking too much time to get Some on the Some kind of cutter rope. off the second. He's going back up to the top. Wait, what's going on? That was a three count, right? That was a three count. Yeah. Arrow That's boy, Chris Carter, count. Roscoe with the win over Lowrider, Otis, and Mini Fusion.
Roscoe, <laughs> Roscoe definitely thanking the ref after that count. <laughs> It has been one hell of a marathon here today, Brittany, and thanks for being with me. Oh, thank you so much, and thank you to everyone watching, tuning in, and watching this live stream. We have hit records tonight, and we're going to hit even more because of all of you. And I'm just, I'm so honored to be here. This, thank you for having well, me. Well, thank you, and please come back. We'd love to have you again. I will be here whenever you want me, and... <laughs> Oh, I'm getting chills yes. already thinking about this main event. Absolutely. Coming up next, there is no championship up for grabs, but there is a number one contendership. Jordan Grace goes one-on-one -on -one with the bloody undead bride, Sue Young. And every time we see Sue Young here at Ladies' Night Out, we have entire rows that are moved. The arena has been completely destroyed. I have had a commentator that joined me here at ringside before who was actually hypnotized, so please be careful. You oh. never know what could happen when Sue Young steps inside an arena, not just a ring because normally the match goes everywhere, including the parking lot. And I think that's what Jordan Grace has to look forward to coming up here next. It's the number one contendership for the Ladies' Night Out Championship, Jordan Grace and Sue Young. The following contest is your main event for the number one contendership for the Ladies' Night Out title, scheduled for one fall. In combat sports, contrasting styles make for great fights. In this particular situation, these two athletes are living in different realms, in different realities, if you will. This isn't just contrasting styles. Brittany, this is contrasting realities. I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I mean, Sue is a ticking time bomb. She is a loose cannon, and for Jordan Grace to be putting her hand out like that, like she is either making a deal with the devil or she's just not that smart. Well, at this point, if they do shake hands, it will be more of a blood oath. Ugh. Um, that's, uh, that's disgusting. Oh. That's very disgusting. I mean, again, like you said, different realities, that might be how she welcomes people in her, in her realm. Jordan Grace is more of a woman than I am to do that. sure why Jordan Grace is surprised um, when you're Sue Young every day is Halloween. Oh. And, um, As if the exorcist was creepy, we're seeing it live here in the ring right now. Absolutely. Uh, light some candles and grab your Ouija board, ladies and gentlemen. Sue Young, the mistress of the dark arts, no question about that. Even though Sue is off the grid, I feel like she may come from New Orleans. It's just, there's a vibe of her that she might have been there at one point in time in her life. There's, or in a past life. Or, yeah, or in a future life. Well put. Not sure why uh, Jordan Grace is attempting to, okay, thank you very much, and uh, goodbye. Not sure why Jordan Grace is attempting to reason with Sue Young. 
if that's what she's doing, I, I, I don't know. I do indeed agree with you. I don't see how you can reason with almost like a caged animal, as it were, in oh, Sue Young. Oh. She's got a chair. I, I, I can't believe it. Oh, well, you know. Like I said, maybe that's how she welcomes people in her. No. No. I'm going to need to increase my pay uh, to deal with this much I longer. I mean, this is my first time dealing with Sue Young in the flesh, yep. but I'm glad that I have you as my guide on how to run from her. Yes. Well, if this continues. We're going to get the hell out of here. Uh, there's a bar next to me. Oh, that sounds lovely. Well, finally, Jordan Grace. Uh, oh, my goodness. Putting down Sue Young and Sue Young rising like the dead. And not really the uh, Romero dead, more of the 28 Days Later style dead. And I mean, I've heard of soul food, but nothing like that. This is a unique publicity tour that Sue Young is on this right is now. This is indeed. She yeah. doesn't seem to, she's definitely coming this way a little bit. It seems like Sue's paying too much attention to the voices in her head or the audience out here tonight. Or the voices of this broadcast. Yeah, he, all of it. Oh, Jordan Grace just tossing down Sue Young. I get the feeling that uh, that her body interprets pain just a little bit differently than everybody else is. I think it does, as she does look in pain, but I feel like she feeds off of it in a way. Jordan Grace breaking the pin, the count there, excuse me. A little verklempt from what we've seen so far. I mean, I don't blame you. I clutching my pearls as we speak right now. Jordan, Grace giving the audience what they want. Yeah, she might be giving Sue Young what she wants. I mean, I think Sue Young gets a thrill out of this. She does indeed. I mean, you know, who wouldn't for a woman who spits blood? <laughs> well said. Well said. It's certainly not something you see every day. I'll tell you that right now. No, not, not at all, unless you're in some, I don't know, weird hospital where everyone's quarantined or something. This is certainly no biocontainment unit. This is the World Gym Arena. And right now it is Sue Young and Jordan Grace's sadistic playground. And Jordan Grace punished there. Her head pinged off of that. I don't know if she's getting up from that. Sue Young now welcoming Jordan Grace to his seat, and uh, Isaac Bullion has completely lost control of this matchup. I mean, do you blame him? I, I don't think he can tell Sue exactly what to do. Oh, no, I mean, I'm not, I don't blame him at all. I mean, if I were him, I would have gotten the hell out of here by now. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I've been around the block once or twice. I have seen what Sue Young is capable of. And I think Jordan Grace just got an up close and personal view of what Sue Young is capable of. Sent on cannonball off the ring apron from the bloody undead bride. As much as you say we have the best seat in the house, I feel like that was the worst seat in the house. I would agree with that. That is, uh, I believe, what they would refer to as the nosebleed seat, but not for the reasons that we uh, were familiar with it being called the nosebleed <laughs> seats for. Indeed. Pin attempt here from the bloody undead bride, Jordan Grace powers out. 
I'm surprised that Sue would even try to pin her at this point. It seems like Sue just wants to torment people. Case in point. This has been a very atypical Jordan Grace performance so far because of the bizarre nature in which Sue Young has gone on the attack. Sue ripping off her stockings, uh, her fishnets. I don't know how this is a, oh! And she's strangling her with them! <laughs> Sue Young doing her best impression of film noir right here. That was quite inventive. Have you ever seen that before? I haven't. And Jordan Grace right now, worse for wear than Don Lemon on New Year's Eve. Like much of this match, Jordan is not in a good space right now. No, she's definitely not. I mean, this is more Blair Witch than it is Tree of Woe. As Sue Young just continues to do whatever the hell she wants in this matchup, Jordan Grace oh. has been punished from pillar to post. Sue going in for the kill. neck breaker from that tree of woe. Jordan Grace, a limp carcass right now, and Sue Young attempting to grab the number one contendership with relative ease and almost did right there. Have you ever seen Jordan in such a predicament as this? No, I've never seen her dominated like this before, ever, against any opponent, ever. Oh. trying to harness that ball of energy inside herself right now. So trying to rally back, show some kind of defense against Sue Young. Pumping herself up with the crowd. Jordan Grace sprinting up like a freight train in that corner into a Vader bomb. One, two. Sue Young sneaks out the back door and the match continues. I feel like that was the best shot Jordan had there to gain an upper hand on Sue and Sue is still fighting out. In this moment right here where Jordan Grace seems to be turning the table slightly, she still looks rattled. And for good reason, because Sue Young has been pouring on the offense since moment one in this match. I mean, have you ever been choked with your own fishnets? I, I haven't, but I have been in the market for some new ones. If you have any suggestions. I, I have links, I'll send you some. Excellent. Grace telling Isaac Bullion to step out of the way. Both athletes perched on the 30th floor here. Either way, this isn't going to end well. What is Isaac what doing? What is he doing? What the hell is Isaac what Bullion is doing? <laughs> well, I think Isaac Bullion just snapped and said he had enough of no one following his instructions here. What is going on? Is it is it Sue's hypnotism? Is it magic? What is? He could have ruined this entire match. He may very well have ruined this entire match. An official is never supposed to get involved like that. I realize he's frustrated. He's been thrown out as he should. Absolutely more controversial. 
special than a trash can getting banged on a breaking ball here in Houston. He, I mean, he can't win the number one contendership. This is shocking. I just, the unprofessionalism. Both athletes are down. And I can't believe I'm saying this because the officials just powerbombed them both from the top row. I don't understand what just happened here. Have we transitioned over into Sue Young's reality? What is going on? I don't know. This is definitely an alternate timeline. I don't even I'm know sure who what I am. version of Earth we're on right now. But whichever one it is, it is definitely Sue Young's reality. Elbow strikes from both. Oh! A spine buster that would make Arn Anderson proud, but not enough to keep down the bloody undead bride as the action is heating up in our main event. Jordan has to be thinking right now, what is it going to take to put Sue Young under? How, how much more can she physically take in going against Sue Young? Sue Young with a downright creepy reversal, but it works nevertheless. Uncanny, unorthodox, but puts her back in the driver's seat here. Spiked. Jordan Grace's head. Could that be enough to name Sue Young the number one contender? It is not. Jordan Grace slides out of danger, but for how long? I have to say that whoever does win this number one contendership, I hope Ivelisse is watching closely because she has an opponent in front of her. She has an epic battle ahead. Well, if she missed the action here tonight, she can get caught up on it by watching any episode of The Walking Dead. Give her a pretty good idea of what may be coming in a future matchup to defend that Ladies Night Out Championship. Jordan Grace trying, trying to, to put an end here to Sue Young. Trying to avoid that glove. I mean, that thing's unsanitary. The official now looking to see if Sue Young has been completely knocked out. Oh, oh no. We might be out of second ref. Do we have a third ref?
ladies and gentlemen, the wait is finally over. After much anticipation, finally returning to Hurricane Pro, the Hurricane Pro women's champion, Heather Monroe, putting that championship on the line against the money, Renee Michelle. This is gonna be a real treat. Thank you for joining us on Title Match Network. And there you see the champion, Heather Monroe, draping Hurricane Pro senior official radio. And uh, Renee Michelle doesn't seem to want to have anything to do with that. Renee Michelle undefeated since returning here to Hurricane Pro Wrestling, earning this shot at the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. Heather Monroe's personal photographer, Chad Cooper, getting adorned on the outside. And Heather Monroe having some fun making a return here tonight in Beaumont, Texas, at Ford Park. And going to tie up with Renee Michelle, the challenger who wants nothing to do with the champion. Renee Michelle is not going to take this opportunity lightly. And Heather Michelle, she likes to have a lot of fun here at Hurricane Pro, but she cannot underestimate the challenge. Though again, it doesn't seem that Renee Michelle wants anything to do with this matchup. Again, going in the ropes. Got a bit of a ring in my ear. Renee screaming to the referee to get her off her in the ropes. HPW Women's, women's Championship on the line. And now Renee calling for a, a timeout because she needs, she needs to do some pre-match stretching apparently in the corner. In all seriousness, Renee, I mean, at some point, it's gonna happen. These two women are gonna have time in the middle of the ring. Renee playing some mind games with the champion here. I'm trying to catch her off guard, and she does. This is that strategy all along with a side headlock from the challenger, the money Renee Michelle. It's a nice takedown. Don't let her appearance fool you. Renee Michelle, as beautiful of any of the competitors in the women's division, she has a legit MMA background. She's been performing mixed martial arts since the age of four, believe it or not. She's very experienced. And she's trying to roll out of it. And again, nice switch. The side headlock, again, goes the challenger. been some time since we've seen the champion Heather Monroe here at Hurricane Pro. We know she wanted to eagerly come back and defend that Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. But you know she does not want to start 2021 losing that championship to someone like Renee Michelle. Michelle has been in complete control thus far as Heather Monroe trying to work her way out of it. Versus a side headlock of her own. It's the killer bay. And they knock it off the hair. She's back ropes, whips her off. And waist lock to the full Nelson. An arm drag from the champion. And that's why she's the champion here. Oh! Got caught with a stiff elbow. And they're trying to throw the champion to the outside. Lands on the apron. Oh! And a stiff kick right to the back of the head. Referee demand they get back in the ring. You see Adam Monroe showing off. For this great crowd here in Beaumont, Texas, thank you for joining us here at Ford Park. Thank you for joining us on Title Match Network for Hurricane Pro Wrestling. We could not do this without your support. 2020 was not the year for anyone, and we look to change that here in 2021. We appreciate you always supporting Hurricane Pro Wrestling with a senton from the champion. Goes for the cover. And a two count. First cover of this matchup. Yeah. 
Heather Monroe from SoCal, California, train at the famed Santino's Brothers Wrestling Academy. As well versus so many styles. And there you see big splash in the corner, setting Renee up. And Renee Michelle wisely avoids contact, slipping to the outside, much to the chagrin of this audience. Renee Michelle playing a very defensive minded matchup here. Not the kind of offense that this crowd would like to see. The smart strategy she wants to become champion. Had them right behind her. Oh! Slip elbow right to the face. You know, the money's not going to like that. Women on the outside. Referees count. Now up to four. They gotta get back in the ring. Hate to see a championship contest end like this in a count out. Referee now up to seven. So we'll go back and forth on the outside. Now finally breaking almost on nine. And they drop the elbow and Heather Monroe wisely slips out of the way. And again, come on is right. Fool me once, shame on you. Oh, these vicious elbow attacks from Heather Monroe in this contest. It's momentum. And it looks like Renee Michelle is done playing games with Heather Monroe. That was a vicious clothesline taking the champion down. The world was her oyster. She had all the momentum in the world before she had a terrible MCL and ACL tear a couple of years ago, and she has fought back to get back in the competition. And since returning to the square circle, she has been incredibly dominant, but is yet to put championship gold around her waist because she could change all of that here tonight. And she's able to knock off the Hurricane Pro Women's Champion. But she's not going to get an argument with the referee. She's got to stay on offense. Keep that tenacious viciousness attacking Heather Monroe. You know, women's wrestling has become a mainstay in the professional wrestling business. And Renee Michelle would like nothing more than to become the face of that division. Beautiful bridge with a suplex. Only gets a two count. Women's revolution born out of the diva's revolution. And Renee Michelle does not consider the word diva a dirty word. She does not compare herself to her peers like Heather Monroe or Miranda Alizé. She puts herself on a tier with people like Beyonce and Jessica Rabbit of all the ludicrous comparisons she's, she puts on herself. And that's why she calls herself the money because wherever she goes, the money follows. Again, goes to the cover. And you see the frustration on the face of Renee Michelle. Maybe she stops focusing on people like Beyonce and I mean and Jessica Rabbit and focus more on the athleticism that she needs to demonstrate like that. Rolls through, does the champion, Heather Monroe. Oh! Renee Michelle able to get up, but then Heather Monroe catches her. It's almost a Koji clutch. Not able to wedge that leg over just enough. Renee Michelle trying to reposition into a cover. Forcing Monroe to release the hold. And they're trying to put that, that lock on. Didn't get all of it. Big back kick from Renee Michelle. The money Renee Michelle. And if she's able to capture the women's championship here tonight, she will indeed be the money here at Hurricane Pro. Stomp, stomp, and stomp on Monroe in the corner. Now come on, putting that foot in the throat, deep in the throat of Monroe, breaks on four. And 
use those feminine walls and the referee's not, I don't think it's gonna get her anywhere. Oh, Monroe catching her, rolls her up. And we got a two count. Another kick. Those precision kicks from Renee Michelle. Monroe again trying to roll through. Caught her almost a small package. And now Renee rolling up Monroe again. Back and forth we go. The Hurricane Pro Women's Championship at stake here. Killer Bay Heather Monroe would like nothing more than a big W on her return here to Hurricane Pro Wrestling. She sets Renee up, goes for the kick. No, and Renee returns it. Oh, God, caught her right on the face. And the champ, God, the champion looks like she's out of it. That might be all of it. Hooks the far leg. Oh, two and three quarters. Oh, and a chin breaker from the champion. And another clothesline. Monroe's got to build some offense here. Every time she tries to pick up steam, Renee's been able to catch her off guard. She's got to stay on it. That's the fighting spirit of the Killer Bay. That's one of Heather Monroe's time tested signature maneuvers. An apropos maneuver to put on the money, Renee Michelle, but it was only enough to get a two count. Now she's setting her up. Oh, rolls her own through again. Oh, only got a two count. Again, rolls through. Two count again. Roll up after roll up. Now going for a backslide. She leverages her in. Oh man, only two count again. Kick, roll up, kick, roll up. Back and forth we go. Who's gonna end this one out as the women's champion? Stiff kick right to the face. Here we go. No, again, only two. And you see frustration starting to build on both the champion and the challenger. Oh, wait, whips are off. Reversal from Renee. Up, up and over. Out to the outside of the room is Renee Michelle. Catches the champion with the forearm. Shoulder into the midsection. Slides through the legs. Another roll up. I'm grabbing the bottom rope. No, wait a minute. Referee caught it. Moran trying to argue with the referee that she had, doesn't know what he was talking about. Cannot use the ropes for leverage. Great call from the referee. Now Renee with the waist lock. Going for a German. Heather catches her. Full Nelson. Another waist lock reversal. Reversal again. Off the ropes. Catches her up, oh, the bad bitch Anoko driver. Is that enough? Yes! There is your winner, and still, Hurricane Pro Women's Champion, Heather 